Hello, everyone. Howdy. Uh, that alert scared me. <laughs> Just got a tier two sub from Ruvo, and the alert scared the crap out of me. I was like, why do I hear music? Because I'm going to be honest, every time I start stream, it's actually complete silence for me. Just the way that I had to set up all my audio stuff, I don't hear the music, but y'all do. I'm just kind of sat here in the silence for like, you know, two, three minutes waiting to start stream when I'm fully prepared. So it scared me, but anyway, thanks so much for that, Rivo. Thank you. Make a star for you. My love. My one and only. Yeah, that's one of the new alerts. We have new subscriber alerts, and y'all haven't seen all of them yet. Um, but everything from one month to 12 plus months is different, and tier 2 and tier 3 are different as well. I can't wait for tier 3 to show on stream, but oh. Here you go. You made this! And now I put your username on it, and I put it in here. Congratulations. Yeah. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in! Oh my god. <gasps> More Jordyu. Let's get some shit. Let's get some shit. Let's get some shoes, Jordyu. Oh my god, shit. I got shit. I gotta make a start for you. The music overlaid is not always great, but that's okay. Can't believe y'all just let me sit here unsubscribed. I'm sorry, you know. It's just I didn't feel it was my place. I mean, what what do you what do you want me to say? You know, what do you want me to say? I would be like, hey, Alfred. Where the hell is my sub? <laughs> Where's my f***ing sub? Oh! Get dunked on social media for that. <laughs> Entitled streamer demands subscriptions from their community. Uh, why did the dragon cross the road? Do you have a follow-up for that, Rubo? Or are you just asking unanswerable questions? Do you have a response? Because my response is, I don't know. Why did the dragon cross the road? Welcome in, Arkham. <laughs> Just making you sit in the silence to think. To get to the booty horde. Okay. <laughs> Everyone post the booty emotes. It is indeed Bimfinite. Definite wealth. Definite wealth! That's today. Yes. <laughs> uh, we are in chapter six. I thought that we were just gonna do all uh, Dodonko Island today, but I forgot that I'm in the middle of a dungeon, so I quickly changed my title to Dungeons and Animal Crossing. Uh, so we'll be doing the dungeon first. I'm halfway done with it. Uh, at least, like, the first part. I think there's... I think it's different every time you go in. So I'm I'm on my first full run through the dungeon. Halfway through. We're gonna finish that. And then we're probably gonna do island stuff the rest of the stream. I'm very conflicted about what order to do everything in because I want to do more of the island, but I also don't want me or y'all to get bored of just doing island all the time. So I'm like, do I wait to finish all the island stuff later? Do I just do some today and then something else tomorrow? Do I just play all island until it's done? Like <laughs> I don't know. The Dongo, the Donkus, the Dumpy Island. Well, we just unlocked the visitors, but we haven't actually done it yet. So I'm excited to see how that works. I'm hoping it's fun. Like, I don't know if it's just like random NPCs show up and nothing happens. I don't know. I'm assuming it's fun. So I do want to get back to the island. Um, But we got to get to the dungeon first. Yeah. Island took you about 10 or 15 hours. Yeah. I, I heard that it's not quick or anything. I feel like ideally I'll do some today, maybe more tomorrow, but I also kind of want to like intersperse other stuff, like at least sub stories or something, just to kind of keep things interesting. I could probably sit here for hours and hours and just finish the island first, but I don't know. I also don't want to just like be done with it and then it's gone. So I don't know. We'll see. When I get tired of it, I'll switch to something else, you know, even if that even if that happens later tonight or tomorrow. Plus, I will not be here all next week. I'm taking a week off from streaming so I can focus on catching up on some stuff I've been procrastinating on. It's just a bunch of different things, just life and adulting I have to get done. Uh, and I think if I don't stream, I'll be able to 
make myself do it better. So uh, I won't be here next week, but maybe when I come back, we'll do more plot because I'll be taking a whole week off. So I don't know. But as for tonight, it's Dungeons and Animal Crossing, baby. Ichiban's job is the uh, island. Ichiban's job is Animal Crossing. What well, can wait? The Dumpy Island awaits. We're just gonna call it the Dumpy Island now. <laughs> uh, Dungeon has some good island blueprints for some of its rewards. Ooh. Then they go together. Wonderful. Actually, Bishy, you're saying it wrong. It's Don Doku Island, not the Dumpy Island. I don't even know what the truth is anymore. Dodongo, Dodonko, Don Doko. <laughs> it could be any of those. Honestly, I'm looking at the name right now on my screen. <laughs> I can see it right here and I'm still choosing to say it wrong. A doo doo island, actually. <laughs> Can't believe Vicious is going to leave us to focus on themselves. How absurd. Yeah, how selfish. Selfish streamer takes time away from streams to do taxes <laughs> and other important adult stuff. <laughs> the native Dondokians are cringing at your pronunciation right now. I make everyone cringe with my pronunciation. Pron <laughs> pronunciation. I can't pronounce anything to save my life. <laughs> Can I be a captain or a low-level grunt? Be whatever? I mean, I don't know what level a mod would be. Would that be like a captain? I think mods would be captain. So you, you can't you can't be captain. <laughs> Whatever mods are, you can't be that. Anything else, probably fine. Honestly, I'd, I'd probably make all of y'all just low level grunts. <laughs> and then the mods would be the captains. But it sounds bad, but it doesn't have to be bad. It's just that, you know, all the mods have their own families and they're the captains of the families. And then y'all are the people who are in those families. <laughs> you make low level grunt sound like a bad thing. Lieutenant, okay, we got... <laughs> it's not a bad thing. <laughs> You'll sacrifice us to Kitty to get me Like, well, several of us would enjoy that, so I don't see the problem. You'll get to meet Kitty, you. Silver lining. You're all in the Ruvo family. Don't act like y'all would like that. That's what I'm saying. Patriarch. Well, so I'm the patriarch. Because we... It's funny because, like, my, my Discord used to be structured like that until I kind of just wanted to make it like a, a Bishous thing, like a Bishy thing instead of a Yakuza thing. But before, it was all Yakuza themed, so I was the uh, patriarch, and then the mods were captains, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, everyone else, I forget what it was called. I don't remember what we said, but basically, yeah, like everyone else was like the lower levels. Maybe the subscribers were lieutenants or something, and then everyone else was like the... An, uh, there was a nicer word than uh, low-level grunt. So who's the chairman? God damn it. So now I'm forgetting how this works. There's too many titles. Whoever's at the top is me. Because <laughs> I'm the streamer. Who's the chairman? Mochi. Yes. <laughs> Mochi can be above me in the hierarchy. That's okay. Yeah, now we got the supersized Bisha. So we changed it to be just like Bish, Bishy things. Um, but it used to be Yakuza. But I, it's been so long, I don't remember how it, how it went. Like, I don't remember who was who. I was, like, at the top. I don't remember. I guess Chairman is at the top, and then there's Patriarch under that? I thought it was the same thing. Isn't Chairman also ma the Patriarch of the, fa of the Yakuza clan? Chairman Mochi. I'm okay with that. Chairman Mochi. Oh. He can be the boss. Was there a special kid you like Dragon of Dojima equivalent? I don't think we got that specific with it, but that would have been a good idea. <laughs> we did not have that, no. Okay, Chairman is the head of the whole Yakuza, like the Tojo, a patriarch is the head of a family, like Kazuma. Uh, someone take your screenshot so we can green screen Bishy's nails? <laughs> what would you put on there? I feel weird posing. I'll do... That's too far away. They're so tiny. I'll do... Here. <laughs> They're blurry, though. 
Something's gonna be blurry. Something's... Here, take a screenshot. You gotta be quick, though. <laughs> it's gonna be all blurry. Okay, they're already chipping anyway. A green screen is super bright. This would probably be fine, honestly. Maybe a little bit. Oh, wolf! You just had to start us out! And my hair is so cute today. To match the nails. Wow. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh. That is... What is this? <sighs> this is my life. Surprised the avocado fits over your headphones. There's a lot of space here on the sides. A lot of space. There's actually a little bit more room. I can push them in a little bit. It just barely, actually. Just barely enough room. Super cute! <laughs> For the rest of stream. Okay, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. No promises. Let me catch up with chat. All right, sometimes depending on how a Yakuza family is structured, the patriarch is also the chairman. Mine was chairman and also the patriarch. So there you go. I think it's time we start playing some video games while we talk. I'm gonna multitask, which is wild, right? <laughs> how am I gonna do that? Um, Just barely, that's how. Okay, we're gonna switch over. Let's do it. Let's do it. Avocado so good. Yum yum. <laughs> Talking and video games? Such a modern bishy. Oh dang, video games. I can't wait. I know, I know, it's such a surprise. Uh, it's a surprise for all of us. Have we already been sitting here for 40 minutes? Oh dear god. I didn't even notice it had been that long. I didn't why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> why didn't y'all tell me it almost been an hour? Okay. Anyway. Let's get into sports mode. Which means I just switch which leg is up in the chair <laughs> at a time. Uh, so like I said earlier, we are in the middle of um, a dungeon. The very middle. Um, and we left off there. So I'm going to finish up the dungeon and then we're going to go back to the island. That is my plan for today. We're all healed up. Sorry. So sorry. And we should be good to go. Let's do it. Oh, I sense a strong foe beyond the door. Uh, I think we're good. I mean, uh, just first thing off the bat, huh? I think we got all the strong stuff. I almost forgot about, um, video. Uh, the song we were talking about was a Tomodachi Life song that was just playing, but it just makes like a, a funny sound. There's like a sound effect in there because the characters are hungry. So instead of just doing like do 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 do, it's like meow 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 meow. We were not talking about that song that you mentioned. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. But <laughs> no. <laughs> a video and a game? What is that? Uh, recently told me that if a food makes my mouth itchy, I probably have an allergy to something in it. I had no idea. I just thought part of some foods mouthfeel is itchy. Yo, that's not normal. <laughs> that is not normal. Allergic to avocado, but still eat it. Yep. Yep. Rivo's one of those people. But we have it anyway. Plus, like, guacamole is usually fine. We have our ways. Sweet, salty, spicy, umami, and itchy. The other flavor. Oh, okay. Shiny's got the research for us here. Okay. Uh, Patriarch is the leader of a Yakuza family. Chairman is a leader of a Yakuza clan enterprise alliance within the family. As for what distinguishes a family from a clan, you would think it'd be the size. Like, clans are bigger, but not really. It just depends where the founder was from and what they decide to call. So, just their own personal preferences. Itchy can be a mouthfeel because pain is one. What, like spicy? Or sharp? <laughs> you just eat something and it hurts? Oh. 
That's like when you're eating a candy cane and it turns into like a spear. <laughs> and you have to be careful. Okay, I'm about to get destroyed, apparently. <laughs> Cowboy, get you! Yippee Itchy's job is mouthfeel because itchy. <laughs> Boomstick! Boomstick! Banneret and a masked bandit. This is my boomstick. Yeehaw! Yeah, that's uh, that's for you, sir. That's for you, sir. You hear that? Oh shoot! We speak the same language right now. He keeps phasing out of existence. He's shy. Okay. Um, they're a little strong. How strong is that guy? 19. So we're a little... We should be okay. I'll use all my good moves anyway. Is anybody weak to anything? Oh, yeah. Okay. Then... Which is this one? Yeah, let's do that. Don't you love when you're eating candy and it becomes a weapon? Yeah. <laughs> that always happens when I'm eating candy cane and I have to be careful and like just bite it off. It's not. Come on. What am I doing now? Uh frosty breath. He is weak to that. I guess I'll just focus on him. <laughs> I like mouthfield, cowboy kiddies. We're starting early. Oh, we're starting early. <laughs> you have thoroughly distracted me. I'm like, what do I say right now? <laughs> Not say, what do I do? I can't think. I can't think, you're distracted. Chat is distracting me. Oh, he's weak tonight. Early, 45 minutes. Well, we just started playing the game. The other 45 minutes was just kind of like hanging out. <laughs> Catching up. Having a chat. I am also weak tonight. I think most people are. Makes sense. Oh, we could do scrub down on the other guy. I'm just focusing on the strong one. That's one of my favorite moves in the game so far. Grenades! Oh, Jesus! He's even hurting his own guys! Oh, shit. Cowboy, can you? No! Oof. Okay, I see why they're strong now. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Where is... Oh, that one. So that would hit multiple people. But so would this one. Hey. Maybe we can do a big one on... Some of these guys and then we should heal actually i think i should do a hero heal because tommy's not okay and ichiban's kind of low let's do that um yeah just us two should be okay to be busy thinking about his gut you think i'm stupid come on <laughs> Bishy, first time ever caring about Tommy? No, I have cared about Tommy plenty of times. <laughs> Man, I, you bully a character and people think you don't care about them. <laughs> Maybe I bully him because I do like him. As a friend. <laughs> Alola Namba. Namba with a gun. That's, that's Tommy now. Bully told me to make him stronger. See, it's just because I care. Come on. Bullying shows you care. Playground rules! <laughs> Which honestly are terrible. 
I don't agree with them, realistically. Um, I don't know what to do. I guess we could just do this. I want to get rid of these guys. Tomi is next. I guess I'll make Tomi focus on the other two. Let's just keep getting this guy. My bad. Okay, let's give it to the other guys. If I could... Oh, oh he's paralyzed. Nice. Um, I wish this guy was closer. Let's go. So that would hurt multiple people, so I could get two at once. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. There we go. Yeah! He missed his turn. Nice. I'm going to... So these guys are weak to knife. Let's do this so maybe I can burn him. <laughs> so numb! Crawling in my skin. I don't even know if that's the song. Is that, song? Is that numb? I don't remember. Let's do... Who's next? Tomi? I'm using all my MP. Okay, you had a good time in his Red Dead cosplay. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? This one? Medium? Yeah. Take him out, Tommy! Almost. Oh, damn! <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, my God. Ooh. I'll be a good time with this cosplay, yeah, because I'm going to be ripping off of my teeth. Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's not even 10 p.m. my time. I love how ridiculous the surfboard looks. It's so funny. Just on fire constantly, and he's just holding it casually. And for his neutral special, a gun. He follows up. Goddamn, he did. <laughs> he sure did. See, I, I might just have to keep him in this. Oh! <gasps> Esperado got a new skill. I was saying uh, I might need to keep him in this job for a while. I like it so much. I've been looking forward to it for so long, ever since it got hinted at in the trailers. Poisoned Cloudburst. Yes. You know, so, so he has gun attacks in this job, but if I were to switch him to like a normal job, like, like the Dojima job, and I carried over the gun moves from this one. Would he just pull out a gun out of nowhere? Looking like that? Or would he not be able to do it because he doesn't have a gun equipped? Yes, he would just pull out a gun. <laughs> what just shit the Looking like that? That's so funny. I might have to try that just for fun. Yeah, in his back pocket. He'll spawn in a toy gun. Oh my god. <laughs> That is so good. Oh. I love that. Oh, it's safe. What? Fake? It was fake! They really tricked me with that. Oh, good. They do care about me. They care about me. <laughs> oh, hey Artemis, welcome in. Uh, do you think we'll ever get any jobs with no gender locks in Like a Dragon 9? I was hoping we would get it in this one. After 7, so I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. 
I want there to be one. I mean, I just want them to not gender lock them, or at least, like, only gender lock a few. You know? I would love to see them in maid outfits. Like, come on. Or they could even make an equivalent of, like, a janitor or something. I don't know. Like, they could have done something. I especially hate that uh, Chitose only has a few jobs compared to them too. Like, she has two less or something. Or, you know, the, the female characters have two less. Like, oh, I had such high hopes. Yeah, if you switch Tomi off Aquanaut and use one of the moves, he'll spawn in a surfboard too. Amazing. I love that. You want to see them in gender jumpsuits? I don't know. I want to see them in any outfit. I think it would be fun if they were in all the outfits. Uh, you've reached the midpoint. Even if you leave now, you can restart again from the next floor. Interesting. So I could leave. But we're already here. I say we finish it out. And then I'll go back to the island after that. Plus, if I get tired of it, we could just leave. And I could continue from here. Yeah, let's keep going. Or butler! No, that's even better. A classy hat. Butler would have been so good. All of them in, like, little suits. Would have been great! With, like, the gloves and everything. Like, holding a tray. Oh, that would have been amazing. Damn. <laughs> Kitty, was that a six shooter in your pocket, or am I just happy to see you? Wait. <laughs> Wait a sec. I swear the walls look like I could break them. But I can't. I do want to get more items in here anyway, so. We shall continue. Can I break these? Did they move just now? Oh, they move, but. They, they're just for fun. <laughs> they are not hiding secrets from me. You know what's funny though? We did get to see some of these characters in uh, janitor outfits in Seven. That was one of the disguises they used in the story. Okay, there's enemies there. They are fully healed, so I could probably take them on. Okay, no enemies here. Your problem. Your oh. problem. Your problem. Oh, 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 oh! Oh my god. Do I dare try again? I'm glad I found this one before I fought anybody else. Um, yeah. Let's try it. I just don't think that I'm strong enough, but... They're tough. All right, let's see. We shall see how this goes. Oh boy, he went first. And agility is down. And attack is down. God damn. Here's a rocket launcher. What do you think this is? Right of the evil? A gardener gnome? The weed whackers? Oh god. That is actually scary. Quit playing around. Okay, fine. You know what? I do have items. Throw a baseball at him. You know... You have a point. I do have items that I never use because I forget I have them. Silence, fear, drunk, intoxication bomb? How does that work? A bomb of alcohol? <laughs> wow, 300 ice damage. More likely to get a cold. That's a lot of damage. Maybe I should do that. That's a really good item, though. But it is a metal worm. I haven't gotten one yet. 150 ice damage. I don't even know how much HP it has. 150 fire damage. Even this would be good. Maybe I'll start off with this and we'll see how much damage it does. High chance of escaping from battle. Don't want to do that. Well, you've heard of Jaeger Bomb, of course. Same principle. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Night Queen for the guys. Oh my god. See, like, 
there's so many good ideas for like how to not gender lock these jobs, but I don't know. Okay, what am I doing? The grenade. I don't want to hurt Ichiban. Let's see what happens. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Back up a little bit. Oh my goodness! Awesome! Thank you so much for resubscribing for four months! I can't do it. <laughs> that was another new alert! I'm now out of stars, Ruvo, by the way. This is my last one. Thank you so much. Yeah, Anjanaika! I get Possum on here. Thank you so much for resubscribing, Possum. Where is it? For four months! Thank you, thank you! I very much appreciate that. I appreciate it very much. Oh my god, chat's moving. Chat is moving! Oh, thanks so much for using your Prime. I really appreciate that. You only get one. One a month. I appreciate it. It's very squiggly. I'm sorry. My handwriting is all uh, already terrible. And then I have to write super tiny. But it said possum. I'm in the last stretch of grad school and I've had to use the prime one a lot. I get it. I totally get it. But I appreciate you using it here. Wish being a TA paid better. Hey, me too. They deserve to be paid better. Y'all deserve more. Absolutely. Let me catch up with chat while I have a second here. I know I'm like super... I'm trying to do the dungeon. I'm also trying to read chat. And I'm failing at both a little bit. <laughs> failing at both. Just a tad. Let me see. Oh. Actually, I'm not, I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Did somebody say cowboy? We need a cowboy emote. We really do. I don't know why we didn't already. I just... I didn't used to have all these uh, emote slots. I had to be like very particular about what kinds of emotes we had, but I have uh, lots of slots open now. <laughs> Catch up a chat, see some of the other conversations we had. <laughs> I didn't miss too much. I thought I missed a ton of messages. Not doing too bad. I'm just making sure. <laughs> Toilet cleaner Ichiban armed with a plunger and bleach. <laughs> oh, am I? Is this a fever dream? Am I imagining this, or was there some like heat move or something where there was a plunger used, like they like plunged someone's face or something? Is am I making that up in my head? Or did that happen in one of the games? Somewhere, something. No? Yeah, like Leather Daddy as an equivalent for uh, Night Queen. <laughs> oh my god. If I saw a kid like that, I don't know what I would do. Oh, thanks so much for gifting a sub. <laughs> I don't have any stars. Rupa has to make me some more. But thank you so, so much for gifting a sub to Joseph. Thank you so, so much, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm still catching up with chat, but I'll be caught up soon. I like that idea, Wolf, from like five minutes ago. <laughs> Big brain thinking. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's a hostess and host job. So I was, like, looking forward to having more jobs that were, um, shared, but I don't know. Add a cowboy hat to the Kiryu booty emote. Like, just a hat on the booty? <laughs> oh. That's what I was going to check. Do give subs? Of course, yeah. Any any sub, I, I make a little star. Um, I'm just out. <laughs> My star jar. See how cute it is? It has stars on it. It's perfect. It's out of stars. I ran out of uh, origami stars, but everyone who subscribes, even if it's a gift sub, will get one. Yes. Absolutely. Okay, that was a heat move in Kiwami 2. I thought so. I remembered that being a thing. I was like, wait, am I misremembering this? Okay, we're still using the grenades. We might get them with the grenades. 
I just don't want to use the nitrogen. I feel like it's a bit of a waste. I think I have one more and that might do it. I think this is the strategy. You just have to use grenades and stuff. That should do it. There we go! We got the silver worm! Now I just gotta get this guy. Oh, nice. Four stars for me. Thank you. Look at the little yellow stars. Look at these. Like, 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 like little candies. Oh god. <laughs> Let me get this star going. I can get it. I'm gonna put the hurt on you. Here is your star, damn it, Joseph. There you go. It's backwards. Because my camera is backwards, but here you go. The drop, you have access to uh, all of our tier 1 emotes and the sound effect commands when they are on. Which... Are they... Oh, they're not. Okay. They're not supposed to be. They're not supposed to be. Mess up that landscaper! <laughs> He's just trying to do his job. Oh. It's brutal when they do, like, the fire end of the surfboard. Just... Oh, can't imagine how that feels. That's gotta hurt. You know? Ooh, we got Ahi Aloha. A new skill. Yes. Okay, so now we go this way. I know sound effects. I mean, usually it's because of plot. Like, right now it would be fine because we're just doing the dungeon, but I want to go back to the island later, and if there's, like, dialogue happening, I don't really like when there's sound effects happening over the dialogue. I feel like I have to reread the dialogue. Um, so usually for Yakuza, I like to just keep it off. Another part of it is actually because I'm playing on PC, and so it's a little bit more tedious for me to switch off of the game to turn them on and off every time. So it's just easier for me. This will be a good workout. I'm more battles. I could leave, but... Experience. I didn't even see that. I did not see that. We're just ganging up on this guy. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just automatically targeting this poor guy. It's like, oh, why me? <laughs> Alvarado. Extreme Sportsman. Oh, not the bear trap. Oh. Oh, silence. Oh, wow. I didn't know that silenced. Sizes up their prey? Is that what that said? Oh, no. We can get rid of this guy. The only dialogue we're gonna get is about the Yoshi complaining about his lack of a girlfriend. I hear you. I hear you on that. The Chitubas have been chopped! No! Don't say that! Oh, <laughs> oh god. candies must not eat i know depending on the color of the stars sometimes they look very very tasty i feel like the silence debuff was originally despair or given the way silenced characters talk and behave. But yeah, I don't know. I think it doesn't make sense to silence just because that's like a common RPG thing. And maybe they just wanted them to seem sad when they're silenced? Oh. Okay, 
Okay, we could do another fight, but Tommy's not doing too good. Oh, there's a. Fr oh, I should have done this one. I was thinking of skipping it. I'm like, oh, there's a person I have to save. Okay. Um, let's give you a mystery. Is there anything that's like. Moldy burger? <laughs> we won't do that. That should be okay. And then I can heal in battle. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just glad we finally got the silver silver worm. I didn't even really look at what I got for doing it. I just assumed we got a bunch of experience. Because that's what uh, they're supposed to do. Pandora's boxer. I think we fought one of these before. So let's do some stronger moves on this guy. He is weak to that. We also have some new moves I can try with Tomi and Kiryu. Let's do that one. There you go. Get you got him. Okay. We got Ahi Aloha. Tell a big guy goodbye with a frozen big eye. Might even leave that Wimby stunned, it says. Let's try it. He's weak to it. Oh, yeah. Yep! <laughs> that is strong! That was a whole ass tuna. And then we've got Poisoned Cloudburst, a back room favorite of the local medicine man. Deals magic damage to enemies with a chance to leave them poisoned. Let's do it on uh, this guy. Oh! A quick draw! Oh, I like that. I like that one. Ooh, moldy bird. <laughs> I have not fed it to anyone yet. Not yet. I'm waiting. I honestly think it should like debuff you or hurt you instead. I do not think that it should heal. I think making them sad when silenced makes sense for the modern setting. In Dragon Quest, it's more like the mage can't talk. Then this, it's like you're too bummed to move. Just like, uh, I don't feel like it. Like, take a wild guess as to who you'll feed it to. Hey, I did not imply anything. I did not imply that Tommy would be eating it. I might give it to Ichiban. You don't know. You don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I swear to God, if like in a month or two from now I do feed it to Tommy, you can tell me you were right, okay? You could say I said so. However, I am not planning on giving it to Tommy necessarily. Maybe I'll give it to Nanba. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever he comes back. Um, what am I doing? Let's do Frosty Breath. Did I get anything new? No. <laughs> Need to heal uh, Chitose soon. He's almost done. Ooh! Oh no! Okay, we gotta heal. We gotta heal. Uh, shoot. We have spilled the tea. I think we should heal. Uh, Tommy needs it the most. Uh, Kiryu and Ichiban are probably okay. It's actually perfect with the maid outfit, too, because it's like maids and tea, it goes together. It's beautiful. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? We should do the same thing again. This might take him out. Oh, damn it, Tommy! I'm gonna feed you that moldy burger! <laughs> I wasn't before, I'm going to now! How dare you? That would have done it! <laughs> Damn it, Tommy! Oh my god. And hopefully this does it. Yeah, okay. Leave it to Ichiban. <laughs> Okay, now it's just all these annoying guys. Um, let's just punch them for MP. Let's do that. I'm 
also gonna do a party heal after this. Unless it heals me. But I don't think it will. Oh! You got him again. Eat the burger, Tommy. Eat it! <laughs> Maybe I'll give it to Namba, Bishy says as the burger slowly moves into Tommy's mouth. It's just like the burger is floating towards his face and he's just looking at it all scared like... <laughs> I don't want to eat that. I got a lot of money from that fight. Oh my god. Do you get that much when you save people? I'm definitely going to save people now. <laughs> Looking at it with his Tomi expression, yeah, his eyebrows all... His eyebrows literally, like, tilt up. Oh, in Persona, their equivalent to being silenced is forgetting. I think that's good, too. Ooh! A spicy strike. We got a new move. Hey, are you okay? It's not safe for you to be here. Thank you very much. Please take this. Ooh. Ah. Uh, depending on the strength of the enemy, you get more money. Usually enemies with hostages are stronger than us. Okay. So it is usually going to be worth it to save people. So I probably made a lot of money from the silver worm, and I just didn't notice. What's in here? Another fight? No? Okay. Nothing. All right, let's get to the next floor. And if they don't heal me, I will do an auto heal. So the exit is down here. Okay. Yeah, they just forget how to call their personas. That's funny. And you know, speaking of persona, I really truly do want to get back to, what was it, persona three? I really do. It's just so funny. There's so many RPGs I want to play right now. And I'm not even usually an RPG person, I swear. Like, up until I started streaming, my only RPG ever was probably Pokemon. And even then, like... It's not super... I don't know. When I think of Pokemon as an RPG, I don't consider it uh, the same as every other RPG you know. Like, I don't consider it the same as Persona or uh, even this game. It's just, like, less intense, I feel like. It can be intense if you apply rules, but, you know. Uh, it's a little bit simpler. But, um, my first, like, actual RPG, I think, was Persona 5 when I played that on stream. And then by the end of the playthrough, I was kind of sick of it. So I was like, I, maybe I don't like RPGs that much. But, you know, I love playing this game. And I loved FF7. I can't wait to play Part 2. Uh, and then I was having fun per per with Persona 3, so I don't know. I think I can consider RPGs one of my, maybe not one of my favorites, but just like one of the genres that I will play. I don't know. Persona 5 is your first RPG sounds intense, right? And I think that's why it kind of made me want to stay away a little bit. Um, and I still wouldn't say RPG is my favorite. Like, if I hear about a brand new game that I I'm not familiar with the IP, just the basis of it being an RPG, I'm not always gonna, like, want to go for it. Like, I still wouldn't say it's my preferred kind of game. But if there are other things about the series that I really like, then I will play an RPG. You know what I mean? Uh, like this game. I love Yakuza, so I'm gonna play it. Even though RPG isn't my favorite genre, I'm enjoying it. I'm having a good time. I know the rules of an RPG. They're familiar to me. Uh, FF7, I really like it, but I love that it's not, um... What's the word? I love that the fighting is kind of like real time, even though it's RPG. And then this game still kind of gives me that too, even though it is turn-based, like, I, it's fine. And then uh, Persona 3 is also turn-based, but I, I like it. I don't know. I don't know. I think I just don't really like retro RPG. Like the original FF7, for instance. I don't think I could sit down and play it nowadays. Maybe when it first came out at the time, I would have been able to, but I don't know. Um, yeah. Wait, did I miss anything? I think I got everything in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they are not going to heal me, are they? <laughs> 
I didn't think they would. Okay, let's auto heal. I can't save, right? Yeah. Okay. There we go. And I don't even know a lot of RPGs either. Like, if you list off names of RPGs that are classics, I probably will not know a lot of them. Because I, I honestly did not grow up playing them. Again, I think the only one was really Pokemon. I didn't even play Mario RPG as a kid. I, I'm open to playing the remake, um, but I never played it growing up. Let's see what I missed here. What is the Tomy expression? I like to think it's the head tilt back, the smug smirk, upper body slightly leaning back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's kind of doing that. I just think it's funny how, not in this one, actually, it's like the little uh, selfie of him when you end the battle. He's like this with his eyebrows. <laughs> he's making a different face here. Uh, I slowed down on infinite wealth. We played Earthbound. Uh, I swear, every time, every time you say Poop's name, I like avoid saying it because <laughs> I just feel like people who don't see chat are gonna be like, "What?" <laughs> I don't mean to comment on it every time, but sometimes it's unavoidable saying Poop. So anyway, Poop played Earthbound <laughs> on his Switch while he was here because he got. Uh, Nitro deck, uh, he bought a second one and got me playing Dragon Quest 2. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> also been playing Snow Runner and a dirt racing game. Honestly, like, what I play on stream is really all I'm playing. Uh, aside from, uh, Tears of the Kingdom, me and Ruby are still working on that. And I got back into Palia the other day because they have a new update with a bunch of new stuff. And it's pretty cool. So those are the games I'm playing right now. First RP oh, my first RPG was probably the South Park one. Oh my god. Persona 5 Royal is probably the easiest persona to get into, and Persona 3 R. Uh, first RPG was when my dad showed me one of the first D&D games for, like, MS-DOS. Oh my god. Tried to find it. Uh, first time I got into RPG as a genre was Koto R. I don't know what that is. I'm hoping more people will play Dragon Quest because of its influence on infinite wealth. See, I I was thinking of um, playing Dragon Quest because of Seven. And I think even at the time, a new one came out, and I just never got to it. Like, I swear to God, I could probably list off a hundred games from the last, like, three years that I have wanted to play, but I can't buy all of them. And, you know, it's just so many. And I don't even, I don't even have the time to play them all, you know? And that, that was one of them. It was one of the Dragon Quest games. I was like, oh, that'd be fun. And I like how it's, like, referenced in 7, and then I just, I didn't get it. Not enough time. I'm not looking at stream, but fishy. Right? That's what I mean. Uh, poop is Poop Ghost on Twitch, and it is one of Possum's friends. Or or BF? I'm sorry. <laughs> Special friend. <laughs> oh no. I'm not. I'm not a uh, gal palling you. I'm like. What would be the term for it? <laughs> Instead of gal pal. It has to rhyme. <laughs> Maybe something bro? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Gotta say it in a special way, yeah. Eep. <laughs> his dad called me his good friend. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I just did that to you. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, God. You know, that that's happened to me, too, with Ruvo. You know, we had been together for, like, oh, my God. Like, five years. And uh, I forget who it was, but it was some family member. I don't remember which one. But they said, um... I think they said friend. And I was like, uh, you mean partner? Like, corrected them on the spot. And they're like, oh, yeah. I'm like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna gal pal me today. <laughs> You're not gonna do that! <laughs> Damn. Uh, 
Yeah, Twitch name is Poop Ghost. Yep. Yep. We you could say ghost. <laughs> you could say that. You choose not to. <laughs> Just two friends out in the world, being in love. <laughs> uh, I love when friends... <laughs> Couple name idea, poop some. No. No. Poop possum. <laughs> no. No. Does it even mention Dragon Quest and Infinite Wealth? Consequences of getting a job. <laughs> Not enough time for gaming! Speaking of gaming... Let's do more dungeon. Oh! Pardon me? Why are they shirtless? Hey guys! Oh! <laughs> a beach baller! Oh my god, they're like a variation of the trash guys! I loved the trash guys in seven. Look at them go. Oh, they got hops. They ballin'. <laughs> I love how they're wearing tights. And before the balls spawn in, they're just standing there in the tights and shirtless. That is so funny. Okay, we're going to punch them for MP, but they're kind of strong. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh, get him, get him. Yeah! Oh, weak to gun. Perfect. Chuckle am. Dance for me, beach boys! Here I come! Here I come! <laughs> oh my god. They're kind of strong. They are kind of strong. Let's get rid of this one. I like to imagine the only way Ichiban's mind can make sense of shirtless guys and black tights is picturing them in inflatable beach balls. <laughs> oh, that's true. So that's probably what they just look like normally, and then he's putting <laughs> these other outfits on them. Ooh! <laughs> I, I kind of love them. This is something you could cosplay. You could wear this to a convention and it would be amazing. Even if no one knows what you're from, like, it's just a good time. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm kinda scared of him. I'm kinda scared of him. <laughs> Sometimes when they die, it's just so fun. <laughs> it's just lying there. You know, it makes sense they're weak to gun though. Because it would pop the beach ball. Right? Oh god. Poor Tommy. That's pretty strong. He did flee! He deflated! I didn't know he could do that! He deflated! Oh no! Urban Buster. Yes. Urban Buster. Like Dave and Busters. Us? Oh. They can deflate. So sad. Uh, we could probably do a few more fights. I might do a heal Tommy. Let's see what we've got. I want to make sure I save everybody at least. Ooh, that's why you gotta explore. Yeah. There was a creep hiding inside, of course. I'll take your life. This does happen sometimes. <laughs> Nameless? Hi. <laughs> hmm. 
Oh, it's probably like Anonymous. I feel like this is a play on Anonymous. <laughs> I low key wish whenever you beat the ball, guys, instead of defeated, it would say deflated. <laughs> what if they're already deflated, though? Double deflated? <laughs> Here I come, deflates the beach baller. You can add that as a quote. You absolutely could do that. Um, what do I do? What are you weak? Are you weak to anything? Nothing I got. I'm a little scared, yes. Do something basic. Hi. I haven't done this yet. Homestuck inflicts magic damage, cherishing this brief moment to be close to you. Light to heavy. Let's try it. I could, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. That's all right. <laughs> okay, I gotta try the Bourbon Buster. Damages a dumb bastard who walked into the wrong saloon. <laughs> Maybe giving them a cold and raising your drunkenness a bit. Oh. Kitty takes the edge off. Kitty was drunk and Hong catches a cold. Oh my god. <laughs> that is amazing. Hey, you're... You got a cold now. <laughs> like, a, take a swig, King. That is a, such a difficult sentence for me to say. What am I doing? Mm, yeah. <laughs> huh? This. Yeah. Huh? You tried it. You tried. He's almost <laughs> Rogue drones. Uh oh. Why are you picking up Tommy? Only I can do that. You leave him alone. Get him! <laughs> there you go. Speaking of quotes, I just remembered this one I meant to add before. Oh, yes, yes! I specifically told Rubo to add that one. Just waiting. You did miss it. I did the Ahi move. Oh my god, when was it? It was against, um... It was in an earlier battle. I don't think it was a special battle. I'll probably do it again, though. Okay, looks like we got a beach ball. Oh, we got one of the oiled up guys, too. Oh, no. I don't know who they're laughing at. <laughs> Well, there's another door over here I can look at first. I also need to heal Tommy. I almost called him Nanba again. I almost did. What's in here? Ooh. Just a few things. NMP. That's the best you got. Okay, let's heal Tommy. I will use a food. That's fine, good. That's what it's for. He wishes he was not, but wow. See, I don't even need to bully him. Chat will do it for me. Uh, 
Uh, one time I loaded up on sake for MP, only to remember after I got wiped that when drunk they miss a lot. They miss a lot and they don't listen to you. So rude. Don't care how old that joke is, 10 years in the joy is still the funniest joke. I like when there's variations on it. I love the move so powerful and hilarious. It's so good. It's definitely my favorite of the uh of that job so far. Oh god, yep. A lotion knot, crazy heel, and beach baller. <laughs> what a ragtag crew. Let's see. We shall do. Mm, anybody weak to anything? Hey, you resist fire. What about no? Oh, that one's weak to ice. Okay. Then let's do that and just hurt everybody. There we go. He resists that. Anybody weak to electricity? No. Uh, we could do another frosty breath on this guy, just get him out of here. Could also do that. This one's better from far away. Yeah, I can hit both of them. Oh yeah, I guess like with this move, he just pulls out a baseball bat. Alright, let's do MP. You ever see a surfer getting bullied by a beach ball? There we go. And a gun. <laughs> no, a beach ball bullies a surfer, and a gun bullies the beach ball. Yes. Okay, I think that's it for the floor. There's one more room somewhere over here. Nanny, Namba. <laughs> Just imagining Namba as a nanny now. At okay, what? Oh. Now we can leave this way. Gave Namba uh, 200 plus health ring. So they'd be similar to the others in HP and 7. So squishy. The poison attack was so good. So squishy! Okay, we can leave now. Go Nanny Namba? Nani? <laughs> oh my god, Namba would be the last person I'd trust with my baby. He would feed it grass or something. <laughs> Like, at least when Kiryu didn't know what he was doing, he was gonna try to feed a baby an onigiri. But I think Namba would do something like that. Ooh. He would try to feed it like a cheese it <laughs> Kids like cheese, right? <laughs> Put it in a pelican beak for safekeeping? Ooh. Isn't he a nurse? Hey, a nurse isn't necessarily, what, like a pediatrician? Although nurses should have some basic understanding of what's good for a baby, so... I'm not even gonna argue with you on that. I won't argue with you. You think Saejima would be good with babies? <laughs> like Namba would waste good quality grass on a baby? <laughs> wow! <laughs> Okay, there's a battle over here. How strong are they? Let me see. Three of those guys. Oh, sure, we can take them. <laughs> Elegant beak. <laughs> the perfect cradle. Okay, I don't like how they move. I really don't like how they move. <laughs> I think this will hit a bunch of them. Oh, and they're all weak to it. Perfect. Uh, 
It'd be amazing if she just took them all out. That would have been a sight to see. Here, I'll do the tuna just for y'all. So y'all can see it again. It's so huge. <laughs> and completely froze it. It's like knocking them over the head with a freaking boulder. Hey, Pearl, welcome in. You know, I almost didn't see that that was your message about the, the grass. Like, I saw it in chat, but I didn't see your username. I'm sorry. Welcome in. I should know better, because there's more than one pink username in this community. Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Yelling in lowercase. Um, I'm gonna give them some empty stuff. Let's do oh yeah. Cafe latte. Get it, get it. That should be good enough. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> ah, if you will. I never spent most of his life in jail. I don't think he knows how to take care of a baby, but he would be better than Namba. <laughs> wow. Still better than Namba. Oh god, not the Crass Kringles! Oh, this is gonna be a tough battle. Okay. Um, shoot! They're weak to this, so... Let's do this one because he's kind of central. Oh, we hit a bunch of people. Yeah, we hit everybody. Good. Why are you next? Oh, Jesus. We might die. Well, it's down to stolen bento. When did they steal bento? Stolen bento? I hope it's not stolen from me. They didn't steal from me yet. I'm scared they will, though. Okay. Uh, we need something that hits everybody. Yeah, that should be good. He's kind of in the middle. Let's do that. Sorta. Did it only hit him? I don't know anymore. Maybe we should do, um, Just hit everybody. God damn it, why are they- What are you doing, Ichiban? You should've just started attacking from the get-go, you missed? What is going on? Oh my god. I'm gonna get this guy. I do love that one. Skill hacking? Upload Kimmy's private video! Wait, what? <laughs> it just said he uploaded Kiryu's private video. What do you mean? <laughs> private video of what? <laughs> Sir? He had a private video? <laughs> Where'd he upload that? What site? I, I, I want to make sure. Right, hold up. I want to make sure that I definitely do not see that. Because I don't want to impede on his privacy. So someone tell me the link. Someone give me the link so I can make sure that I don't click on that. I want to make sure I don't click on that. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Wait, no. Oh my god. Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I need to do research. Yeah, uploaded where? So I can avoid the website? Yeah, where is the video? <laughs> oh. <laughs> the mitochondria, yeah, we'll blame the mitochondria. <laughs> it's Kiryu getting into the Onomichiya suit. No, his secret identity revealed. <laughs> I can just imagine, like, Someone puts the link to the video. I'm like, oh, I definitely gotta make sure I don't click on that. Click, and then it's like loading, and then I'm like, 
And then it's just him putting on the Onomichio mask, and I'm like, damn it! <laughs> oh, get that video now! Oh my god. It's called Can You Use Manly Bathhouse Battle featuring Gotta 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 Chant 69. On, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just have to punch them a little bit. Man, he just won't leave Kitty alone. I mean, I can't blame him, but... Uh-oh. Whew! Oh, that wasn't too bad. Stolen food. I mean, is it stolen food from me? Or, like... I hope not. Just a video saying I'm alive to Morning Glory. Oh! Oh, they're weak to fire, too? Hmm. That would be good. Let's see. There we go. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can get this guy. No, he's not gonna count. We're down to two enemies. It's still silent, so we can't do any of that. Ooh! Still going after Kiryu! Kiryu is used to fighting drones. I remember Amon. Really weak to anything. Time for the money sucker! <laughs> Yay! $220! That's pretty good! How about a tuna? Maybe he needed a tune up! Got tuna, tuna. Um, I don't have enough MP! Damn it! I didn't think about it. We all need to heal. I don't think... Yeah, Kiryu's silenced so he can't heal with a move. He could give an item to somebody. Maybe I'll just have an item for Ichiban. Something with MP and HP would be good. That's too much. Just an egg. I don't want to use the jumbo egg yet. That might be good. I have four of them. Let's do it. There we go. Little silence. Let's get rid of this guy. Ooh. He's not doing too good either. So close. Oh, thanks, Kiryu. <laughs> I love when he does that. I love when he does it. Let's see. So he's next. The enemy is next. So. Ooh, he missed. Okay, we're gonna do a heal. That's recovery over time. I just want to heal everybody. So they all need it, but they're kind of spread out. Like I think this would get Omi. But she really needs it. Well, maybe they can hold out until the end of the battle. We're almost done. Let me just try to kill him. He can dodge bullets! <laughs> or maybe he has really bad aim, this guy. Ooh. 
Uh-oh, not Chitosis Prime video. No! You monster. I'm like more upset about that. <laughs> Kitty was, I was like, where? Tosa, I'm just like concerned for her safety. Where can I say that? No! <laughs> Disrespectful! Wait, let's get Ichibod's video first. <laughs> Okay, we gotta heal. Let's do a... Yeah, auto recover. Okay. Hi! Catch up a chat. Unlock the cowboy job for Kitty, you too, I see. Oh, yes, of course. I did that! I think at the end of stream last week. Yeah. I was so excited. I was so happy. <laughs> Never forget getting Amen to an inch of his life and every drone exploding and it's to kill him. It's so bad. So bad. And there was more than one fight where there were drones too. So annoying. Itchy will leak it himself somehow on accident. It's just her reviewing her housekeeper gear. Oh my god. So I got this one from. Uh, what's the brand? I'm blanking on a clothing brand. Hanger management pipe? Excuse me? Medicine that cures rage and restores 50. Just ran to the door. Yeah, I don't even know if it's that like she's short. It's just that all of these guys are really tall. They always make the characters tall. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no! Video of using the squat toilet number 18 on Don Doko. <laughs> I miss the island. I think we're almost done. I need the experience anyway. Oh, here we go. Uh, I missed something over there. Ooh. I guess let me go back. Let me at least see what it is. If it's a normal battle, I might just leave. But I want to make sure it's not something I want. Oh, she's the shortest, like, out of all of the possible party members. So she is short. <laughs> Tommy's video would be him eating Ichiban's letter. <laughs> You'll never live it down. Oh, there's something. Oh, we're good. Okay. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I see how the doors are annoying. I understand it now. I was gonna say a speedrunner's nightmare, but you might not have to go through the dungeon as a speedrunner. Did y'all see that? At the bottom of the screen? It looked like somebody's arm was broken. It was like... Zigzag. It was a split second. I barely noticed it. That was weird. Oh. I bet the letter gave him a stomach ache. Who knows how old that letter was? Uh oh, okay, so there's a boss. Look away, it's okay. No one saw that. I didn't imagine it if that's what you're implying. Go back in the VOD, I promise. It was there. Oh, where do we go? So there was a boss. There was a person to save. 
Everyone in chat is gonna gaslight me about that arm. Somebody's arm was like broken. Okay, another battle. I'll probably skip that one. I want to fight the boss because, you know, it's the boss. I want to save the person. Maybe I'll save the person first. Hmm? Uh, so There's some guard. stuff in here. Is she is catching whatever Ichiban got? Oh. I'm not imagining things. No, not the ethereal guest of... Washroom collector. Oh, you're kidding. No. It's just with the chain link fence? This is a bathroom from a nightmare. Oh my god. Y'all ever get those nightmares where like there's a bathroom and you're trying to go to the bathroom but like the bathroom is weird? Like there's no walls or like <laughs> just weird shit happening? This is from a nightmare. No. Why is there just a toilet in the room? That's not a wall. Oh my god. And then a sink. Yeah, sure. No, there's a sink, but it's like outside. Ugh. Yeah, outside the fence. I don't know. That's gross. I hate that. We're in Ichiban's nightmares right now. That's why the private videos were leaked. That's all Sujiman needs. Sujiman don't even use the sink. <laughs> Disgusting. Sujiman don't wash their hands. Oh, another one. The whole team could have jet boosters. Okay, I think I found everything. Um, one of these is a person to save, one of these is a boss, and one of these is a normal fight. I say we go up against the save, the person who needs to be saved first. I'm a little low on MP with Ichiban, so I think I'll have him just fight. Uh, I don't know which one it was. Okay, so we'll do this one first. <laughs> Doesn't Juban's house have like 20 separate squatting toilets with no walls? Yeah. Yes. But that's different. That's Don Doko Island. <sighs> Some facing each other. Yeah. <laughs> um... Say that like Vichy's Island is built to Ichiban's canonical house. It is. I'm the only one brave enough to uh, to actually show the reality. I think Ichiban's house in Ijinsho has an outhouse for a restroom. Yes. <laughs> I think you're right. Whoa, new enemy. A shadow diver. I thought he had like a wetsuit on. I like all the barnacles. That's cool. Come on. Scream for me. what he said? You wanna do this? Scream for me! Ew. My angel of music! Oh god. Okay, I'm being told to look in the Discord. I'm scared. What? I knew Wolf was gonna do something. It's so pixelated on my screen. Okay, I think I see Kiryu's face. Kiryu's face. Kiryu's chest. I think that's another Kiryu face. Another, and then there, I think they're mirrored on the other. Oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if someone would look at this and believe it for a split second. Uh, Wolf basically gave me Kiryu nails. That is amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to put that in the fan art slideshow. And, and the slideshow is so tiny that you're not going to be able to see what it is. But, you know, it's, it's the principle. Oh my god. Kiryu's chest, that's all that's important. I couldn't get a better quality picture. It's okay. It's all right. Oh my god. Amazing. I I would put it up on the screen. I mean, on the, with my phone, but you wouldn't really be able to see the detail. You know? If you're in the Discord, you can see it. Come on, scream for me. 
this guy needs to stop saying that. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. Speaking of fan art, I did update the slideshow with the most recent art that y'all have done. So it's all updated, except for that one. I'll add that one later. Oh my god. Yeah, I've redone Bishy's nails in the Discord. <laughs> I have to do that for real now. This is so, like, last week. I've got to put Kiddy's face on all my nails now. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I wanted to do. They already had something going. Yeah, because they're weak to it. I love that move. Uh oh. Not the pocket sand! Not the pocket sand! Are you kidding? Oh, Lord! Porchitose. Ooh! I just killed all three at once! Dang! That's pretty good. Okay, are you weak to anything? I don't think so. Let's do this, though. Just for fun. Squid! Get eeked, punk! <laughs> Miss! Nope. <laughs> Miss! <laughs> Catch of the day. Slaps a fish around? Oh no, he's stunned! Back attack is good. <laughs> Take this! He's stunned. And get him in the shins. A again? Or Tommy getting slapped around with a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Revenge! Yeah. Question of the day, does Tomi deserve it? Oh. He doesn't deserve to get slapped with a fish. I mean, he did eat the letter and he did uh, pull a gun out on Ichiban, but it's water under the bridge. Oh, does Tomi deserve everything that's happened to him ever? Absolutely not. Kiryu's bond with his team has enhanced his skills. He can now perform combo attacks with a nearby ally. What? Make it a combo! Attacking an enemy while near an ally you have a deep bond with will trigger a combo attack. This tandem special is simple to pull off and powerful, so make sure you're cultivating your friendships to reap the rewards on the battlefield. Okay. I gotta try that out with Mr. Kiryu. Well, we're about to fight the boss, um, and then let's do some MP. That should be good enough. Okay. Catch up first, and then we'll do the boss, and then I think I'll just go to the next floor. Ichiban's house in Ijincho needs to be studied because the devs decided that every detail of it would match Ichiban. Kiryu's apartments are usually just empty. <sighs> I remember his apartment in Zero was like a mess. I remember that. But usually after that, yeah, pretty empty. Has it pulled a gun on Ichiba? <laughs> All of his friends. <laughs> All of friends have done it. But no, like, like, in a serious note, Tommy did not deserve the things that happened to him. Absolutely not. Um, once he met Ichiban 
and ate the letter and pulled a gun on I had uh open season to bully him <laughs> however I I do feel bad for him with his story and background of course no I I like Tommy <laughs> I I think it's funny how this is becoming a thing of like this she hates Tommy <laughs> I don't there's so many Yakuza characters I really detest. Like, I absolutely hate. And I've made it known, you know? Uh, but Tommy is not one of them. He's just so easy to bully. I feel like we did this to Namba a little bit in 7. I feel like he was the one we kind of bullied. Um, I remember we kind of bullied uh, Kanimura as well because we called him tiny mura and we made a bunch of jokes about him so it's just you know every every now and then there's a yakuza character that we bully but it doesn't mean we don't like him you know kume or tomi i hate kume of course <laughs> oh you can't even put them on the i can't believe you put even put them in the same sentence <laughs> this is ridiculous <laughs> And Y5, his apartment has a photo of Morning Glory besides uh, Saki and Mitsuo in the remastered version. Yes, I remember that. And honestly, with the way Kiryu is, I feel like that's all he would really do. He would just have the necessities and then he would have something about his family, you know? He's not really big on decor. But Ichiban's apartment is very him because it's just like, it's like maximalism, but like all, all the things and just kind of a mess and yeah. He has ADHD, okay? <laughs> I remember I was watching someone play Kiwami 2 for the first time. They thought in the beginning scene when Kitty wakes up in his apartment that he was in jail again because of how bland it was. Oh no! <laughs> Dang. <laughs> this just in. Bitchy said live on stream they hate Eric. Said he's a bullyable nerd who should go put his face in the sand. It's shoved in a locker. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're doing a boss fight now. Let's go. Oh, hold on. I think we're Get almost done with the dungeon. Oh. Over here. King of Bling. Oh, he got back up from Big Dog. Oh wow, it's a security detail. King of Bling. All right, let's go all out with these attack moves. Are you weak to anything? I don't know if it'll tell me yet. Is that the Burger King? The King of Burger. I, you know, it's messing around a little bit, but I want to see how much money he has. Miss! No, he's poor. <laughs> he's broke. The worst thing you can be. <laughs> he attacks with a whopper. People will see a crown and think burger. Eh. Gotta serve you a breakfast sandwich. Our, oh, they're weak to this. Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Get rid of his backup. I feel ill. Uh, let's see if he's weak to that. I don't know if he's weak to anything. We'll see. What's wrong, you little worm? That was pretty good. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta do the combo attack. Um, I probably need to be like next to him though, huh? Because it's different from the with the tag team attack. I know, I want to see the kitty combo attack. I have to be next to him, don't I? Oh, what do I do? Maybe this one's so I can attack a bunch of them at once. Almost got them. A fluent allure. Miss. <laughs> Nanda. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what was that? Oh, that's funny. 
he didn't give a shit. He's like, I could do that back to you. As Kiryu, I think, get near one of your allies. Oh, okay. I thought I would have to get close to him as Ichiban. Okay. I will keep that in mind. What do I want to do? Sure. Okay. The guy's back there. Uh, I want to attack the other guy too, though. I mean, these guys are almost done. If you got a little closer, I'll do this one. I have, well, I have this. Maybe I could do that. Yeah. There we go. Hey, Lexicon. Hey, Zelda buddy. Welcome in. Howdy. I'm a cowboy. My favorite character is uh, dressed as a cowboy, and I love it. They have a cowboy job in this game. It's so funny. They have a whole team of cowboys. <laughs> These are all the moves you got, too. It's a bunch of, like, cowboy-themed stuff. It's great. Okay, so apparently... Oh, Ichiban's all the way over there. Can I do the combo attack, like, next to Komi? How about can you cosplay one? I know! I want Ruba to cosplay him. And then I can probably be Majima as a cowboy with them. I think that'd be fun. You think I'm stupid? What am I doing? How do I do it? A normal attack, right? Combo attack. There we go. Do it, do it, do it. Woo! Dang! What was that? He did like one of those. He just like, huh. It happened so fast. I was kind of hoping for a little animation or something. Damn. Okay. Uh, we could probably just take him out. Uh, yeah. All right. King of bling. Uh, more backup. God dang it. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Let's just focus on the king at this point. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the combo attacks are different from tacking. I know, I was just hoping it would have a little animation. They go so quickly. If I can do it again, he gets closer. Come on, Ichiban. Get over here. Oh, they, they can be a little different. I like when he slid. That was good. I like that. <laughs> so good. I'm having fun in this dungeon. I'm having fun here. Because I get to watch Cowboy Kitty in action. Dang! <laughs> oh, he's guarding. <laughs> Have anything that can break guard? Grapple? Yeah. He's done. Yeah, they pack a bigger punch than your average light attack. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I'm having fun in this gun. <laughs> Thank you for the quote. It scrub down never gets old, I know. Yes. <laughs> Alright. Um, I'm gonna leave this floor. We are going out of here. Would like to go to the Dongo Bongo Dongoko Island. I think I legitimately thought it was Dodongo for a little bit there. Like, 
I think a character from Zelda, like one of the bosses, the Dongo. Something. Uh, yeah. This might be the last one. The Dongo Bongo Don Doko Doug da Doug's Dale Demodome. I almost didn't mess up. Dongo Bongo Don Doko Doug Dale Demodome. I sure do love watching Kitty whip out his pistol. <laughs> Abandon all hope. Oh, it's gonna be the big boss now. Oh lord. Okay. Oh boy. Save. I haven't saved all day. The kid you badongo donka dong. Don go do ko ding dong dilemma. I'll leave y'all to sit with uh, these silly words. Uh, I'm gonna go take a quick break. Gone for about uh, <laughs> five minutes. Uh, when I get back, we will go up against the final boss of the dungeon, I assume. I don't know. Some big uh, boss guy. And then we're gonna go to the island and have fun with that for the rest of the stream. <sighs> Did he use humongous? Youngolomagonalongus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, goodbye. I'll be back in five minutes. All right. We're back. We're back to it, y'all. I think it's so funny that one quote is so long, it does two messages. <laughs> I could probably try to shorten it. Like, uh, some of the extra text that isn't necessary. Numbers. Or not. It is kind of funny. It's funnier that way. Okay, I'll leave it alone. I'll cross that out. <laughs> it is pretty good. All right. We're back to the dungeon. We're gonna do a big fight. I can tell. Proceed. We will in a second. I remember the dungeon in seven. At the end of the battle, or at the end of the dungeon, I think the big boss was that giant Roomba. And that was tough. I have been a pretty good level for the last few fights. Like, they've been just under my level, so hopefully I'm equally leveled with the boss. We'll see. We shall see. Back to the the Dongo Bongo the Don Lu La Dongo Roos. To the uh, Booba Duba Ala Booba. Badonga donka lonka papa da pa dong. <laughs> oh! Another powerful adversary. Let's go. Let's help it! And then the boss earlier, yes, was the clowns. When we were in the dungeon in this game. Now it's. Oh! Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought they were enemies I've already fought, but I don't think so. Penalty Boxer and Top Dog. This is it! Alright, level 21. So, we are pretty good level for this. We'll go all out. Let's see. Let's do... Oh yeah, they're weak to it. Oh, he is. Knockout Express. Woo! Thank <laughs> you! He went flying. <laughs> Get up, King. <laughs> this music. Oh, am I rich enough to call someone? You know what? I didn't even think about the pound mates. I think I have money for it. I don't think I have enough on me for Nancy. I'd probably have to go to the ATM. That is something we could do, though. Um, should we do that after the dungeon? 
We could do that. Um, when I get out of the dungeon, I'll go get all my money and we'll save and load. And that way I don't lose my money. And we'll look at all of the palmates I have so far. How about that? I don't know if I can call any right now. I will try. I'd be willing to spend some right now. But definitely not enough for Nancy right now. Not on my person. Okay, we should probably do this because they're weak to it. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh boy, that guy is strong. He has a lot of HP. We can get rid of these guys right now and then Ichiban could try to fight him a little bit. Oh, they're not dead. Darn it, okay. I was really hoping I'd get rid of him. Okay, let's get started on this guy. Um, trying to concentrate a little bit. In this one. Oh, he's weak to fire. Okay, great. Light to heavy, yeah. Sure. Pretty good. Ooh. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. This music is immense. Fight night. Blood curdling war cry. Okay, so everyone's attack is raised, including his. Interesting. Okay. Glancing at chat was a mistake. <laughs> I don't have any fire moves with this. I think I should just back. Okay. Ooh, that was strong. Ooh! Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! We almost, we almost just KO'd. Oh no! Oh Ichiban! Okay, definitely need to heal you. I really need to heal everybody though, and everyone's so far away. But I definitely need to heal Ichiban. So let's heal. Woohoo! That was bad. Okay, and that didn't even do too much. Okay, Ichiban is next, so he can do a big heal if I have enough MP, which I don't know if I have. But we should heal every turn until we get to him, honestly, so... Oh, he's right here. Okay. I am going to heal him for sure. No one else wants to get close? Come on. Nobody wants to get over here with the Robicue? He's stunned, so he's not gonna move. God damn. With some barbecue on the range. Oh, please, God. That was so lucky he missed. I can't believe he missed. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is bad. Their attack is up. This is bad. Do we have any debuffs I could do, too? Hmm. I could probably blind with someone else. This one blinds. I want to do that, but I need to heal for sure. I just need to get Ichiban back to 100%, and he needs to be not stunned. You know, I could probably use an item. I know I have some stuff that, uh, yeah, status. Burns, cold, paralysis, that's what he has, right? And 50 HP, so I should probably just do that on him to get him back in the party, basically. Do I have anything else for paralysis? It's the only one I have. I should have gotten like five of everything. I'll know next time. Boost attack. I have some buffs for my party, but I need debuffs. I think I think at this point I need to start thinking about debuffs for enemies. I haven't had to worry about it up till now, but I think I need to start thinking about it. This fight has taught me that. Okay, gonna be this one. 
And then Tomi is next, but he's also stunned, so he's probably not going to have his turn. Damn. Okay. That was not paralysis. Oh, it's a stun! Shit! I did not notice that. I hate that. Stun and paralysis are different. I always get them confused. Do I even have anything for stun? I might not. Poison, bleeding, drunkenness. I do! I have a stun! Okay. I'm sorry. That's my bad. He needed the healing, but god, I wasted that. Okay, there. Oh, so annoying. Okay. So they are next. I really need to get some of them down. Let's sleep. Boost defense. I probably should do this, but they they really need to heal. Oh, they need to heal so bad. But it's only going to be nearby people. Like, they're all fucking far away! What's wrong with y'all? I'm probably going to just have to do this one and hope for the best. They also need to be close by. Um, I could get all of us, but Kiryu. Kiryu is uh, hopefully going to survive. Man, I wish he was over here. That sucks. Okay, let's just do us three. Get that defense up just a little bit. Oh, they have double attack. Oh, she might die. Just barely. Oh. Please. Okay. He's stunned again, but... Okay, and then we got a KO, of course. I could revive. Oh, you woke up. Thank God. You can get rid of this guy. Um, I want to get both of them at once, but I don't want to risk not KOing this guy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Ah! He keeps moving. Video is next. Come on. Come on, just a little closer. Come on, look, I'm so far away. Don't try to get closer. I think I'll just have to target the other guy. I don't even think he really needs much. Like, I'd probably just take him out like this. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I hated that. Okay, well, in that case. God damn it, Tommy. Okay, we are down one. Oh, he missed! Thank god! Okay, should I revive Chitose? Ichiban's health is okay right now. I don't have anything else for his stun. I did not prepare. We need a heal. Do we have a healing ability? I think so. Yeah, we have the beachside robe with you. Could heal Kiryu and him. The guy is next. Maybe, maybe Ichiban will get it. Here, I'll put it on Tomi, and he'll be kind of in the middle. Hopefully it hits everybody. It only got us two, okay. Oh, he keeps missing, I don't know how. Please aggro him. He's weak to fire, which I don't have. But I could do a debuff. Let me see, he actually has a lot of debuffs. Chance to silence, put him to sleep, a paralyze. I probably should do that. Poison. Poison would be nice too. Oh, he doesn't have the attack buff anymore, thank god. Maybe giving them a cold. Yeah, let's do that. I like this move. Oh, he's almost out of it. He did not get a cold. He's no longer stunned, thank god! We have no MP. Oh. Okay, let's do... Guess we'll just do that. I could also drink something. Yeah. Okay, you've got a fire move. 
Good, yep. Yep, yep. I'm gonna have to shoot him. A little bit. Oh god. Each side barbecue! Each side barbecue! Who's worse off? I mean, let's focus on that. Uh, we can get all of them like this. There we go, perfect. Oh, combo attack, nice. We're gonna do another combo attack. <laughs> That's good, it's good. Rain of pain. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Dead cowboy! Dead cowboy! No! He's almost done. Okay, we're gonna attack. Oh, I should do the tag team moves. I'm silly. Maybe I can do that with video. Tag team. Let's do that. There! Oh, good. Okay. Orchitose. No experience for you, but... I had to do what I had to do. Oh. Okay. I know I have not been looking at chat because I was so scared. Oh, uh, your party members will still get experience even if they died. Oh, nice, nice. I thought I saw at some point that they didn't get any. I guess it's reduced. Maybe it's reduced a bit. Let me catch up with chat here. Let me see. These quotes. <laughs> I forgot the number of the quote to port a pound. <laughs> oh. All right. I was about to ask if she still gets the experience. Yeah, she gets some at least. At least. I mean, I will say, friend, that our Discord is, um, you know, we have a lot of rules and stuff. And I think a few times people have like, I wouldn't even say it's really a fight. It's just like disagreeing over something. But I always, you know, make sure that it's respectful and everyone in there is pretty nice and... You know, we try to cultivate a nice community in there. Of course, like, if, if anyone is not comfortable joining the Discord, it's absolutely not expected or required or anything like that. It's just kind of a place to post stuff, and um, you can see, like, fan art that people have drawn, or uh, people will post pictures from their lives and stuff, and um, their pets and things like that. But, uh, yeah, it's totally up to you either way. Don't feel pressured. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's generally a very nice place to be. <laughs> I think the only arguments that have ever happened are over like video game stuff. Like, <laughs> we don't really allow people to like argue about intense things, you know? It's just not the place for it. All right, that's the last floor. I did it! Completed sector one of Hawaiian Haunt. Oh, sector one. Yeah, there's more sectors. Oh boy. We got some shin guards. Let's head back out. Yeah, we have some good equipment. I need to check on that. <laughs> Things have been too peaceful in the Discord. I'm going to insist the world is flat. Be right back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no worries either way. My sensors detect that you ventured quite a ways in, Michi. I'm impressed. Currently, I'm approximately 30% charged. Sorry, but I'll have to rely on you a bit longer. You see, I could have given him my robot voice, 
But I think Robo Michio deserves better, so he gets this one instead. I'll be cheering you on, Michi. Alright. Let's see a porridge of Dulce, 1 HP. Hi, kid you. You're awfully close to me. Wait, they're in the same place at the same time! It's just like, he was in there, and then now he set it to, like, pause, so it just stands still. <laughs> Hello! Hello! You see what I mean? He just got all up in my face. How can I not acknowledge that? How ironic the one called Robo doesn't get the robot voice. I know, but it's perfect! Yeah, I'll talk to him in a second. <laughs> Who is he posing like that for? For me! For me! <laughs> Obviously. Look at him! He's like illuminated. <laughs> me. <laughs> He's posing like that for all of us. That close up. I know! It just looks like that. <laughs> Chitose died, so we won't see her for the rest of the playthrough. She was only 25, too. Real shame. God! <laughs> She's right there! I'd be reloading if anyone died. No, Shiny is messing with you. They just pass out for the battle, and then they come back with 1 HP. <laughs> uh, technically, he's posing like that for Ichiban, which is quite interesting. Oh, I know. It's like we can still hear her. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's talk to you. You say so, Michi people down there. I'd like to present you with this as a show of my gratitude, Michi. Diving knife. Ooh. Ooh, it's like an ice knife for the, um, surfer. Seriously, thank you very, Michi. I'll keep cheering you all. Michi is just, uh, what Robo Michio says. It's like a catchphrase, because he's a mascot. So every sentence just ends in Michi, because his name is Ono Michio. From Ono... Wait, where is he from? Oh my god. His name is Ono Michio, because he's from Ono Michi, the city, or the, the place in Japan. And his name is Ono Michio, and he says Michi at the end of his sentences. <laughs> I'm just explaining this for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, exchange items. Get fucked, loser, Michi! Oh my god! You have robo discs for Michi? I'll trade you for them. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god. Uh, Onomichi Hiroshima, thank you. There we go. Onomichi in Hiroshima. Okay. Rainbow crystal! Yes! Oh, I get- I have the perfect amount to get the blueprints. How does that happen? I would also like this one, but I gotta save up for it. I have the perfect amount! I can buy them both! Perfect! Oh, I couldn't have planned that better myself. I hope we Michi again. Alright, you know what? We're about to go! Oh, but wait, we're doing the Poundmates. I actually completely forgot about the Poundmates story in the battle. What are you staring at? Oops! Um, let's go to an ATM. What am I doing? Here we go. Let's go straight into the bedroom. <laughs> Ichiban's bedroom. Uh, ATM. Yeah. Is there an ATM on this side I could do? There's one in the mall. We could do some mall battles. I'm gonna load the saves, though. Like, we're not gonna get any of the experience, by the way. Oh, there's another substory in the mall now. Let's just go over here and fight some weak people. It's fine. It's fine. There are some stronger- I wonder- Oh, I could probably take on that guy again. I'm probably strong enough now. Boundmates would help me. But I, there's plot there. I think I have to go walk inside, but I don't know. Let's just go down to this one, it's fine. You can buy them both! Plot, not today! 
want in my Yakuza stream? Less likely than you think. And it was already not likely. 20 toilets and two statues of handsome men. Ichiban's got his priorities straight. Because he's not. Straight, that is. <laughs> A friend! Hello. Okay. We're going over there. Oh, it's okay! Oh, I wasn't ready for this. Smack down. Smack down. Smack down. Yeah. $17. Edward. I am buddies with Edward. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Okay. Here we go. We got... Oh, a lot. I'm gonna take out everything. Twelve thousand dollars. Are y'all ready to pound? What are you staring at? You ask uh, I don't want to fight these weak dudes, though. It feels like a waste, right? It feels what like a damn at? waste. What you looking at? What you That's why at? I kind of wanted to do it at the mall. Are we ever ready? <laughs> I am prepared to pound. <laughs> Let's find some better enemies. Just to make it worth our time. I'll save right before we fight. Let's see. There's some, like, right across the street over there. I wish that was me. <laughs> Oh, those guys are weak too. Gotta keep going. I'm prepared for Kitty to pound me with his pistol. <laughs> Hello. Oh, be first. <laughs> we could segue, but I think it's almost dead. Confession, I'd never listened to Coconuts before. I give it a listen just now, and I've been looking everywhere for this song. I heard it somewhere and liked it. Oh my god! You didn't know that was what we were referencing? I'm surprised! Oh, well, we can fight these guys. Okay. Y'all ready? We're gonna pound now. Going to pound town! Oh boy. Fight me! Fight me! I love how they jump out of the car to fight me. I'm gonna put you in All right, place. we're gonna practice our pounding on these guys. All right, I can afford everybody. Oh, I'm so ready. We could do more than one in the fight because we have so much money. <laughs> okay, anyways. Oh, Jesus. Chat, stop. Okay. We're gonna see Nancy and Olivia. Everyone, everyone, pay attention. Be respectful. These are my favorite crabs in the world. 50,000? Holy shit. Okay, 5,000. Hi, very, very happy. Oh? Oh my god. <laughs> Crustacean combination! There she goes! Get him, Nancy! Oh my god! <gasps> Olivia? I've never seen her fight. Oh! Oh my god! Woo! It's her pandemonium! Oh my god! Oh my god! Are they dead? They're dead. They're all dead. 
Oh my god. <gasps> Mess with the crab, you get the stab. Oh, I loved that so much. I loved that so much. Oh, my daughters. Those crabs are my daughters. <laughs> that was amazing, huh? What's happening? Oh, I'm gonna have to load this. I'm sorry. Uh, dear Mr. Koska, thank you for being such a loyal client. This is Chitose Buster Holmes reaching out to you from Poundmates. We're currently running a patron appreciation campaign and be giving away gifts to some of our regulars. If you're interested, you can find me at o o o o Oahu Burger, so please stop by if you can. Hope to see you there. I won't be doing that because I'm loading the save. I'm sorry. Looks like an email from Chitose. So she's got something for me. I should head over to Oahu Burger when I get a chance. We'll have to do that later. We will have to do that later. I guess I'll just load the save? I mean, I could see some more right now. I just need to find somebody to fight. And then we'll load. Just to save time. Somebody fight me! I love that. I already know that that's going to be my favorite pound mate. I mean, I, I don't know if you can really beat that. Oh, a kitty cat! I'll have to befriend you later. I'm sorry. There's some strong people over here. What are you staring at? Let's do that. Okay. I can afford a few more. Yes. Yeah, we'll get there at, at some point. I will use the pound mates regularly when I have more money. But right now, I just want to see them for fun. Okay. Don't tell Bishy about the kitty bathtub pound mate. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Oh, proud pounder. Jesus. Okay, let's see the next expensive one. This is uh, Temptuous Tempest, and this is with the uh, that guy we helped to make his music video. Hi, buddy. Oh my god. Here we go! There he goes. Somehow he's fine. Oh my god. Amazing. Beautiful. We still have 3,000. I think I could do everything and then just load. Plot twist, his shoes are nailed to the beam. Yeah. He's just glued on. What do we got next? Let's see. We'll just go in order. So we've seen this one. I did do that one. Um, I have not done... Well, we've seen this one too. But I have not done the rest. So let's go in order. The gig is up. Hi! buddy. The sushi! Daredevil delivery boy. Oh, so he's just like... Oh! And then he heals us. Okay. That was pretty good. I forgot to read the description. Woo! What's the difference between with benefits and without benefits again? So the with benefits is just like super more expensive and it like doubles the benefits that happen. So if there's like 400 attack, uh, it'll be 800 attack or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, higher attack slash healing, whatever it's supposed to do. His ability is to make you hungry, IRL. Well, he certainly is making me hungry. <laughs> he was successful in that. Let's see if I can do another one. I don't think I can be- Whoa. 
Why do they all get more expensive? Is it because I already have somebody? Oh dang. I think I have to get out of the fight. Okay, let's just get out of here. So him, he's more like a summon and he also heals. But he doesn't attack, right? Oh, he attacks and then he heals, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. That I actually might end up using regularly when I have more money. I'm definitely going to be using the Nancy one when I have more money too for like big boss fights. I That was one of my favorite things to do in 7 was using like the really silly pound mates on bosses and just seeing the animation because it was so funny. Okay, let me see how that looks now. Yeah, it was just because we had those. So we have a couple more that I can afford. Yeah, and then we'll load. Let's do it! What are you Might as well fight the strong guys. Get hey, crabs are gonna take the final boss down! Yes. I mean, I think so. I will try. Here we go. Okay. This one is Stunt Killer Salvo. So see, this one um, is a base attack of 150. I know you can't see that. And then with benefits, it's a base attack of 250. So it just doubles whatever they're supposed to be doing. But it's so much more money. Oh, they're weak to fire. Hi! Very, very happy. Boni Kashua, Octor of Authenticity. But he's also a summon. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, especially if they're weak to fire. <laughs> Ruvo used ad permitted term Pound Town. <laughs> I guess we should attack because I can't summon anybody else in this one. Unfortunately. Oh, you just listen to this song regularly now? I mean, the music is so good in this game, you really could do that. I'm gonna have to allow Pound Town. It keeps holding it. <laughs> I will add that later. Sorry about that. Oh, you work out to this. I think you said that before. Come on, guy. Man, even with this guy, it's taking a minute. Levitation dance. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, fine. He's weak to that. I'm not approving all of that. Y'all are on your own. There's like 10 messages held right now. <laughs> Y'all, please! You're making so much work for Ruvo. Oh my god! P-Town? P-Town sounds worse. <laughs> yeah, see now it's like too expensive. Man. Oh my god, y'all. <laughs> I'm just surprised that it won't let us, uh... Won't let the messages through after we approved it once, you know? I think that's a little annoying. I think if I approve it, it should just be allowed. I have to like go in and add the word so it can go through. There. Okay. Here, I'll approve them. I'm not totally useless. Okay, I'm allowing all of them. <laughs> Won't you take me to Pound Town? Won't you take me to Pound Town? <laughs> Pound Town round trip. Now we can describe how we all want Kitty to take us to Pound Town. Oh, you thought. Oh, uh, gold plate. I want a gold plate, but I'm gonna load the save. Okay, we can do like one more fight. 
Uh, I don't want to do a strong one because I don't think we're gonna. Ooh. It's gonna take too long. Yeah, I'll fight those guys. I think we have one more. What you looking at? <laughs> That's in my head. Bring it on! Bring it on! Take us to pal. You don't gotta tell me twice. All right, last one is this guy, Nathan, Path of the Warrior. Hi, hi, hi. Oh my god! Are his knees okay? Ten but a champion. But he's also a summon. Oh my god, are you kidding? <laughs> really? He gets two katanas. Damn. I'm gonna load the save after this, and then we're gonna go to the island. I know, they got a pizza shield. I like how the pizza has like a built in handle on the back. Like, did they have to bake it like that? He studied the blade while we were out getting women. <laughs> Yeah, we're not going to Pound Town, we're going to Don Doko Town. While he studied the blade, Kitty took us to Pound Town. <laughs> Just filled in the blanks for you. Okay, let's load the save. So that would be, yeah, this one. Okay. We are undoing the past, what, 15 minutes? Because I like my money, and I don't want to use it all. Not yet. When it's easier to make money, I will. Okay. Now I gotta put my money away. So we're gonna run back to the ATM. And then we're gonna go to the island. Very ready to go back. I figured that uh, the dungeon would take up like half the stream. It basically did, but we also hung out and just talked for like an hour, which I wasn't expecting, but that's okay. A pepperoni pizza with a back handle. Imagine baking a pizza shield with an edible handle and everything. Yeah. That's what cosplayers should do. Honestly, it's really funny, but I feel like a lot of the Sujimon, you could actually cosplay those. Not all of them. Not all of them. Uh, like immediately two, one or two came into mind like, oh, not that one. But a lot of them have funny designs that you could dress up as. I call being the beach ball guys. Yeah, like that one would be perfect. That's a perfect cosplay. Yeah, the lotion knot was the one I thought of like, don't do that one. <laughs> Do not do that one. You probably would not be allowed to walk around the convention. Okay, let's put away mostly everything. I will keep a hundred. Yeah. A good amount. Let me save. And let's go. Can I just like teleport to the island? Or do I have to go to the... Yeah. I mean, not that I don't want to see the... Dolphin. I'm just wondering if I have to run all the way there. But... <laughs> you can cosplay a sub in private. Okay. Is she about to be on stream tomorrow as a worm? I'll bring some moldy burgers for them. Wow. 
Yeah, you can taxi to the spot, not the island. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's one right here. Okay. Squirmworm cosplay stream when? Well, unfortunately, it's bad timing because it's about to be summer and it's going to be way too hot for me to even pretend to wear a uh, sleeping bag for more than five seconds, so. Sorry, I don't want to get heat stroke. <laughs> That would be really funny, though. You know what I did imagine, though? Like, randomly at some point recently, I just imagined Kiryu as a squirm worm, and I thought it was so funny. Like, I, I have such a good imagination, I literally see it in my mind. Like, I see Kiryu's face just sticking out of the squirm worm costume and all serious, like, just like in the game. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh. I want to see a mod of Kiryu as, like, all the Sujima. <laughs> but especially the squirm worm. Alright, Dolphin. I can't wait to see this in like the bright daylight too. I love the dolphin so much. <laughs> all the Sujima. Yes. All of them. Would Bishi love Kitty if he was a squirm worm? I would love him even more. Kitty was a lotion on. You know, immediately after I said all the all the Sujimon, I immediately thought of that, and I was like, <laughs> "Be right back, Kitty. The Don Doko's calling. Yes, we got that golden statue. So very ready for that. Oops, I forgot how this game works. Okay." My death perception. <sighs> now we can chill out after a long day of um dungeon crawling. What are the Sujiman that are dressed like Haruka and a magical girl? Yes. When I say all Sujiman, I mean all of them. Ooh, a change machine. How exciting. Kitty has a lotion on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I need to chop down trees, gather resources from collection, and craft furniture. Okay. And it is still the middle of the day. Hey, I forgot I upgraded this. Okay, one more. Technically, Majima, Sajima, etc. are Sujimon too. Yes. But. I mean, all the other Sujimon. Doing the weird squirmy animation and everything. Yes, I see it in my head. Like. I swear. On that scale, um, we've talked about this so many times because I always think it's a very interesting phenomenon. But um, there are people who cannot. Yuto like picture things in their head like it's just blank there's nothing there because th like they literally just can't imagine stuff um like and the example is always an apple um i think it's like aphantasia or something like that like you literally can't imagine stuff so when you think you just think in like sounds and like words and stuff but not pictures like people can picture stuff in their head and some can't um, and there's a scale using an apple. So, like, if you imagine an apple in your head, if you can't see anything in your head, you just think of the word apple, you probably have that. But, you know, there's a scale of, oh, it's kind of like a faint image of an apple, but it's not quite clear. You know, my imagination is so strong that I see, like, the spots, like, the, the freckles on the apple of the color and everything, and I can rotate it 3D in my fucking head like a goddamn uh, 3D modeler uh modeling software so when i tell you i see kitty in my head right now as a squirm worm with the animation i literally see it like it's in the video game <laughs> in my mind for you i can imagine naked kitty which about eight times so can i i <laughs> i don't have that i have a great I imagination i can think of anything <laughs> including that stop i see that hell message oh my god is she serenely rotating a kitty in their mind? Yeah, I can literally rotate kitty in my mind like he's in a microwave right now. I literally see that in my mind. I can't draw, 
First of all, you let that go through. <laughs> I thought you were not going to approve that one. Oh my god, y'all. Uh, I can see it vaguely. It's almost there, but disappears if I don't concentrate hard enough. Yeah, like like I said, there's a scale. And, you know, I think most people are, like, in the middle. At least I feel like I'm at the higher end of that. Like, I, I can literally see it. But I was saying, the only thing is I can't draw what I see in my mind. I really wish I could. I would, if I could draw really well, I would draw so many things you don't understand. So many things. Like, I can draw, but not, like, how I want to. Yo, uh, I draw in, like, a cartoony, silly way. But I wish I could draw in, like... I don't know how to say it. Not even realistically, but just, like, cool. I wish I had a cool art style. But I don't draw often enough to practice and get better, so... Maybe if I drew every day, I would be able to draw Kitty as a squirm worm. Yeah, like doodles. That's really all I can do. Um, what am I doing? I'm just wasting time. Jesus. I have to DIY. Well, let's DIY the golden statues, of course. Perfect. I forget what else I was supposed to do. But those are my dailies. I think I have a strong imagination, too. My problem is I have a poor control of it, so while I can picture stuff, sometimes it'll change into something else, and sometimes changes into upsetting things. I get that, yeah. Those are called intrusive thoughts, and they happen sometimes. Oh. Well, I don't want to claim that that's what they are, but it reminds me of that. Um, let's see. Where are they? For some reason, I feel like they're down here. No? Where are my kids? There they are! Oh my god. <laughs> I think they're the ones from the earlier games. Yeah. That's so funny. Oh, I can't make them yet! No! I need gold ore. <gasps> no! Okay, I'm gonna write that down as a, a goal. I need six gold ore. And Doko Island. For the statues. Man! Um, yeah, from the cabaret, I recognize them. I want to see them now! Oh. Man. Where do I get gold ore? From uh, the other areas of the island, I'm assuming? That's going to be like my top priority now. I need the gold ore so badly. I mean, we can work our way towards them, but I wanted to see them today! Ooh! Uh, get gold ore from things on the ground. Um, yeah, only spawn at certain points. I figured they were gonna be like the ore on the ground. I got some ore last time, but I bet they're like over there. I do see gold trash. The hill or the lighthouse? Hills over there and lighthouse. We are working towards that. Maybe I should just keep working towards them and we'll get them eventually. I don't think I have a nasty case of intrusive thoughts. Yeah, I, I get that. I, honestly, what I've heard is the important thing is to like try not to focus on them, which is very difficult, I know, but you kind of just have to practice. Because if you focus on them and think about, like, how much they're bothering you, then it just keeps happening, you know? I don't know, that's what I heard. Oh, bug! There he goes! I think it's so funny! Oh, uh, it was perfect at the beach because you could really see it. They just keep flying. It's so funny. Just forever. A bug! Okay. I need to craft something for the end of the day. Let me see. What do we make? I want to upgrade my house. I probably have enough I could upgrade the house. I have to craft. I have to craft. Don't get distracted. Um, I don't know. Uh, cushion. Why is 
there wood in it? Yes. <laughs> so flat. There. Okay. Um, maybe I can upgrade my house. I want to decorate. That's right. Let's see, how much is it again? A hundred? Wait, what? Oh, I need to do it in the daytime. Okay. We're also supposed to be getting our first visitors tomorrow. I guess let's just go to sleep. So anyway, here's my house. For anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Sweet home. Time to fall asleep among the peaceful sounds of rushing toilet water. This is one of the things I've seen my whole life. <laughs> the toilets aren't attached to any plumbing. Oh! Oh, that's the worst imagery you could have given me. <laughs> you know, here's the downside to having a good imagination is if someone says something cursed, you can imagine it really clearly. <laughs> Can be used against you. <laughs> Ichiban, what's good, MTV? It's your boy Ichiban. Welcome to my crib. Tommy shirtless. You act like that's the worst thing ever. <laughs> it's just shiny. Shiny is pushing this agenda that I hate Tommy. I think he's ugly. Like I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, they're like little bed pants scattered across the floor. Yeah, I have that whenever. Yeah, I can't stop my mind from imagining it. You just have to like push it out of your mind. Like, uh, you know. Homie eating your whole book slash manga collection. No, I just imagined. No, why am I imagining this? I'm, I imagined it. The first thing that popped in my head is he's crouched on the floor. Like. I guess because you said shirtless Tommy, so he doesn't have a shirt on, and he's just crouching on the floor next to the bookcase, eating the fucking paper, like... Chitose <laughs> <laughs> uh, visits and falls out of love for Ichiban. <laughs> this wor this uh, worm? <laughs> now I'm reading chat out loud. This... Oh my god, I don't even know what I was saying. Room. This room just gives her the ick. Big time. <laughs> like a little rat, yeah. <laughs> he skips the sushi and eats the books. <laughs> this worm, yes. I feel like if you stepped in here long enough, you'd get worms, I don't know. <laughs> Ichiban sleeping on a solid bed of squat toilets. I see it and he's like, like this for some reason. <laughs> Shirt on! I don't know why! He's just shirtless! Sleeping on the toilets! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, Pearl! Kitty in the squirm worm sleeping bag and the zipper slowly unzipping more and more! <laughs> oh my god. Such a cursed conversation we're having. Good morning, everyone! Asuka-san set up the lodgings yesterday, which makes today the day we can try inviting guests to stay! <laughs> and use all the squad toilets! Woohoo, we finally have visitors! Who exactly are these guests, though? We actually haven't invited them yet, so now is the time to figure out whether or not we accommodate their lodging request. 
It's been a while since we've had people visit, so there are a few curious folks interested in our little island. Since this place is still pretty run down, there weren't many, weren't any rich people or resort connoisseurs who reached out. We keep cleaning up the island and gain popularity. Maybe they'll come stay with us someday. So, are we going to invite any guests to visit? You can have the honor of deciding, Kaskasan. After all, you were the one who arranged the lodgings. I think it's only right you get to choose. I think so too. You pick, Kaskasan. I always ask each applicant what they want out of their stay. The more you fulfill their requests, the more satisfied they'll be, so bear that in mind when inviting guests. Got it. Okay. Every guest will have requests that, once fulfilled, will boost their approval. Requests will fall into one of the following categories. Satisfying activities, quality of lodgings, type of furnishing on the island, and preferred specialties. Be sure to check everyone's requests when choosing who to invite. Let's go over today's workload and decide on our very first guest. Can I invite Kitty? Good morning, everyone. Let's work hard today. We got new lodging requests. Let me introduce you. F. Homeless Yamada. A homeless man from Japan. He lives life to the fullest even with no coin. Always wanted to enjoy the resort life. I would lodge at a place that's at least F. An island only needs to be at 800 satisfaction to be perfect. Sleazy things are the best. I hope they get to see one. I'd love to see a Don Doko stone. Oh my god, we've got everything. Okay, this one wants elegant things. I don't even have one. Wow. An unemployed leech. He used his parents' money to go visit! Wow, freeloader Tanizawa. I begged my mom for cash and here I am. <laughs> Yoko the backpacker. A travel enthusiast. She's had many adventures prior to her visit. I wonder what adventures are to be had. Oh wow. Rustic. We also have Rustic. I'm probably gonna let her come in. Oh, he's also good. Mr. Tank Top. A man who always wears tank tops. He's got 15 of the same one. My white tank top goes with the blue skies. Uh-huh. Pop. Uh, they like pop stuff. Okay. Guest intake. I'm letting her in. Hell yeah. Oh, he's actually at an E. They have the same budget, though, so I'm like, eh. Let's let in Kyoko. Oh, wait, I can have more than one? Oh, nice! Okay, never mind. We'll let in three people. They're gonna have to all share a tent. Oh, no. Um, I guess this guy. Haha! <laughs> the freeloader doesn't get to go. Hello? Hello? Yuki! Yuki! Go Yuki! I go! Oh my god. Hi, Jama. I can like Kitty O! A man once known as a legendary dragon loves karaoke. Don't look at the DLC! Okay, sorry! <laughs> I'm not supposed to look at the DLC! I didn't know! I didn't know! Oh my god, I'm sorry! Well, I saw Kitty. <laughs> That's all I needed to say to let you look look some more. No, no. I know who you want to see. I know who you want to see. Oh, wait, no. Don't look, they aren't real. You saw nothing. I think they're spoilery, y'all. I mean, it's fine. What I saw is fine. That's so funny. I feel like Majma was literally the next one. <laughs> Look, <laughs> Rivo's dying. I know it. Rivo's dying. <laughs> Kitty comes to your island, sees all the toilets, and leaves immediately. Well, please, I'm desperate. <laughs> no! Just gonna deny us the person we wanted to see. Listen, someone told me not to look. I stopped as soon as I saw that message. Okay. Okay. Show him no. <laughs> I will. This is it for the guest list. All right, then I'll give him a call right away.
Oh my god, the welcome party. So random. Come on, let's get to work. That was really cute. Looks like the first arrival went smoothly. Excellent. This is a big step forward. We've always done up to three day overnight tours, which means everyone checks out on the third morning. Why three? A while back, I read in a magazine that a three day stay makes for a satisfactory overnight trip, ideally. Get business advice from a travel magazine, huh? <laughs> We've had some customers leave around the second day before because they were so dissatisfied. <laughs> if no customers make it to the third day, I don't think my heart could take it. That's why I intend to have us satisfy our visitors as much as possible. We'll be a happy, cheery island. Oh, if Kitty visited, we would sure satisfy him. We'll make sure he'd never want to leave. Because our island would be so amazing and beautiful. I'll keep restocking goods at Matoyoshi uh, and picking up trash every morning. Any resources you need, come find them at the collection point. Gatrapin and I will be playing a recording on the island's broadcasting system to tell our lovely visitors all about Don Doko Island's allure, and we'll give them a proper Don Doko greeting, too. asuka san if you happen to come across a visitor, make sure to give a warm-hearted greeting as well. Satisfied guests will leave a bigger tip for their stay, so let's do our best to appeal to them. Oh, boy. You have three days' time to give your guests the vacation of a lifetime. If they leave satisfied, you'll get an even greater tip when they check out, and a portion will be converted into dollars. Guest approval will go up when you fulfill their four requests. You can also raise guest approval by greeting them with an emote using Square or giving presents. You can gift anything that's a Don Doko Island specialty, but souvenirs in particular can give satisfaction an even greater boost. Lastly, be aware that inappropriate conduct, such as hitting guests with your bat, will lower their approval. You can hit them? Please be kind and courteous to others. Thank you. <gasps> Every guest will have a different budget. Someone with a larger budget may tip more. However, it will be more difficult to fulfill the request. Be careful when choosing which guests to invite, and keep in mind that guests who leave satisfied will come back as regulars with an even bigger budget. Guest approval will be displayed in the figure to the left with the following values. Dissatisfied, unmoved, satisfied, pleased, and overjoyed. If your guests are dissatisfied by the end of the second day, then they will depart the next morning. These icons indicate a problem that needs to be addressed. Otherwise, the guests may leave before the tour is over. Raise guest approval or build lodgings before the problem gets worse. Wealthier guests have larger budgets, but requests are more difficult. Uh, present icon has yet to receive a souvenir, wants one, or received one. Oh, okay. So, wants one is gray. Oh, no, wants one is the red dot. Hasn't gotten one is gray, and then got one is pink. Giving a souvenir to someone who wants one will greatly increase satisfaction. So I'll probably want to wait till they want one. And then has yet to be greeted and has been greeted. Okay. All goes well. I'll convert a percentage of the profits to dollars for you, Kaskasan. Really? Thanks, man. Consider it a reward for your efforts reconstructing and managing Don Doko Island. I'm glad I can finally repay you now after you've been helping us for next to nothing. This is up. I mean, the 10k was nice. I'll also work hard to earn Kaskasan more money. Oh, thank you. Then let's make the most of today and do our best. Oh, boy. Guys. Ha! Huh. I see ye finally scored yourselves some guests. Built a cozy little inn now, did ya? And they're here for a three-day tour at that. But not if we tear down these lodgings and force them to go home. Wait, what? Today was just a little reconnaissance, let's say. Ye fools best be ready to see our demolition crew in action. Arr. Didn't realize they had pirate accents the whole time. I want to demolish the guest lodgings? I'm sure it would be no sweat off their back to do it all within a day, too. What should we do, Kaskasan? I'll just get rid of them before they get the chance. Simple as that. As soon as those pirates set foot on this island, let me know. Yeah, we'll demolish them first! Thank you, Kaskasan! I'll make an island wine announcement the moment I see them. First my tanuki, and now the lodgings! They'll face justice, you hear? Oh god, the washbucklers may strike while a tour is in progress. If they're not sent packing within the day, your guests will leave in the middle of the tour. If there's an attack, an alert will be broadcast, so always be ready to answer the call. 
Okay, yeah, I gotta be careful not to hit them if they're near the other people. He's looking at it. Observe. He highly praises the Tanuki statue. Oh, I just want to watch them now. Spent Doko Bucks. Oh, she bought some food. What is that? I don't think that's enemies. I think it would tell me. He's at the ATM! Satisfied with the convenience store ATM. That's so funny. I just want one of them to look at the squat toilet so badly. Please. I'm not going to hit them. I will not hit them. Harpoon them. No! What is wrong with y'all? They're having a pleasant time on my island. She's spending money. They're spending money here. They're my customers. I will not hit them. I will not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, he's getting close to the squat toilet. Oh. <laughs> the timing. Oh, my goodness. Welcome in, y'all. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid, Poop Ghost. Howdy. Welcome in. You're playing Clone Hero. What's that? Tell me about it. Tell me about that. Genius timing, yeah. <laughs> Welcome in, y'all. Uh, if you're new here from the raid, my name is Bishy. We're playing some Yakuza tonight. Uh, Infinite Wealth. I'm a big fan of the series. And uh, I also play lots of other stuff, though. I'm also playing through Apollo Justice on Thursdays and Fridays. And we play all kinds of stuff here, honestly. I'm a big fan of Resident Evil and Zelda and Pokemon and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, we're playing Yakuza and Ace Attorney at the moment. But yeah, welcome in, y'all. Howdy! We are in uh, Chapter 6 of Infinite Wealth. I'm at uh, the Don Doko Island. We're having a good time. Oh, it's Rock Band 4. Okay. I see. Well, welcome in, y'all. Welcome in, Callus. Okay, let me welcome in, everybody. Okay, welcome in, Callus, Allie. Welcome in, of course, Possum and Poop. Welcome in, uh, uh, Banquos. I think I got everybody. Yeah. And y'all, I hope you had a wonderful stream. I hope you had great fun. Put in a thousand vending machines and become rich. Yes. <laughs> yes, we were talking about you earlier. Uh, Possum was telling us some stories. Some stories. Oh, God. There's enemies. Anyway, I'm basically playing a crossover between Animal Crossing and Yakuza right now. Because this island lets you decorate it and build stuff like DIY. But also you can fight people, so. It's pretty fun! You can go fishing and catch bugs. Like this one. It was a spider. Oh, I got a shopping cart. <laughs> Ghost stories! Woo! Make the guests pay to use your 30 toilets, yes. They're not free! He's getting closer. Look! He's getting slowly closer to the squat toilet. I need him to see it. But also, this is in the way, so hold on. I want him to see it. I need it to be, like, right here. Yes, notice the toilet! Oh, he's playing with the arcade, isn't he? Charge them to use the 15 hostess clubs. Yeah, I'll put in a bunch of hostess clubs. They're all having a good time. Guess can't walk on the paths. Okay, hold on. How do I put the path again? Um, shoot. It's been a minute. Oh, place path. Here we go. Is that it? Is that the one? 
There. Now he can walk right up to it. Come on! Notice the squat toilet! No! Imagine the squat toilet with an uwu face. Notice me, senpai! <laughs> he went to karaoke! Perfect. Ichiban comes to the island. They ask him for help to take care of the trash and become a high-end resort again. Ichiban's like toilets. Toilets everywhere. <laughs> Uh, only items that have things like sleazy, rustic, etc. So things that have a genre. So the toilet doesn't have a genre? Why not? I was really hoping that someone would pass by it and be like, blah blah blah, satisfied with the squat toilet. Oh, let me not get in your way. Let me not get in your way. He's just gonna go to all the arcades. All the arcade cabinets and then he's walking down there and there's nothing down there there's nothing down there sir i'm sorry maybe i can put something i can put mahjong y'all want to play mahjong outside i can do that will you sit on me oh no what <laughs> does the toilet <laughs> No! Ew! <laughs> he went to karaoke. Mahjong Island, my kind of island. That's fine with the public bathroom! I'm stuck. See? You can interact with the restroom. I'll take it. Look at him just staring at it like... This is a nicely built public restroom. I would not be satisfied with this restroom. Look how disgusting it looks. Mm -mm. Put down five maid stands for a sleazy customer and all my guests spent three days staring at them. Oh my God. Okay, I probably should start. Oh, this switches portions. Shit. What am I doing? Stop it. Stop it. Where's the bad guys? Where's the bad guys? Ah! Over here. <laughs> We're both struggling a little bit. There was a bathroom near the Ghibli Museum I walked in and just instantly left. It was that bad. It was that bad. Mm. All right, I should do my daily things. I'm just so entertained watching them. They're now unmoved. So they got a little bit happier. Yeah, they got happier. What is he saying? Okay, I gotta craft something. Everything was just wet. I don't know why, but it was. Oh no. Dirty public toilets are nightmares for me. Oh, yeah. I will absolutely just walk yes. out if it's that gross. I'll be like, I'm not staying here. I don't feel safe. <sighs> yeah, he's just yapping. He's doing his mascot yapping. I can just make a basket. Well, I should make something that they'll be satisfied with, right? Something that makes my guests happy. Uh, satisfaction up. Money up. Do a clothing store. Or right, let's do a simple house. <laughs> Can't wait to visit Kabukicho, see a gross public Ooh. toilet, and be like, just like in my video game. Yes. We got a bar, exquisite vase, bus timetable, elephant statue, change machine. Shopping cart. Exquisite face. Elegant. Sure, let's do it. <laughs> A 
Ghost Town Possum, I want to be 5, 6, and a man with no name before playing 8, but I also got addicted to side missions in 5. Oh, they're fun! You can spend so much time doing those, I don't blame you. But yeah, like, I, I think that it'd be more satisfying to play it that way and go in order, honestly. As, as fun as the more recent games are, they're always going to be there when you get through the rest of them, you know what I mean? And once you play all the Yaga's games, it's over. Like, you'll just have to wait for the next one to come out, which who knows when that will be. So, you know, just take your time, enjoy it, don't rush. You know? Played all the taxi stuff, but then I wanted to play Infinite Wall too much. I also understand that. <laughs> uh, do I want the elephant? I don't know. What I want is this! Can't make it yet. All right, so we got a bar. It does make it more sleazy, but I feel like a bar would make sense, you know? I would have a bar in my resort. Maybe like a nice one, though. Not like a how this looks, but... Something nice. Octopo new Mengwu blueprint. White delivery van. A Chinese dining chair. Another street lamp. A yakiniku restaurant. I want that. Cafe chair, a speaker. Taco mask. Oh my god, not the taco mask. I recognize that too. Oh my god. I'll put the speaker next to the uh, karaoke for fun. I'm disappointed all the buildings you can make are always like covered in dirt. <laughs> Because it's just like all of the um, the models they have from the games, you know? God. Okay, we have to have one. Played 3, 4, and 5 all in January. So I could finish by the time Infinite Wealth came out and literally got so sick I couldn't sit at my computer and was bedridden. Oh my god, man! That's horrible! That is not good! <laughs> Video games made you sick! That's terrible. Don't do it again. <laughs> Don't do that. So bad. Hey, Origination, welcome in. How you doing? How you been? I'll do it again. Don't do it again! Whatever happened to learning lessons? Got a Chinese restaurant. Ooh. A mini truck. Curry restaurant sign. Orange fast food chair. I think those are the ones from Smile Burger. That or the chicken place. What else? What do I want to make? Um, I want to do more restaurants. I think it'd be fun. I want to have lots of restaurants and karaoke. And fun stuff. That's so pretty. Leveled up again. A bisou pawn. Okay. I post chair, free info booth, orange truck, spice fair sign, a sink. Sure. <laughs> Let's do that. To be fair, Ichiban is making everything out of garbage. That's true. Yes! That's cute! What else we got? Uh, new buildings. We got a pawn shop. This one's sleazy. I, I don't want to make my island super sleazy. There's just been some stuff that I was like, oh, we have to have that. Okay. Well, let's put some of these down. I can probably get rid of this. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. So... Oh, maybe I can get it all. Okay. Uh, there's a house. I might put that somewhere else, though. Let's see, do I want the bar or the restaurant? Yeah, there is some stuff missing. Okay. So, I thought that I could reach my, um... My inventory from here? Someone said I could, but I don't know how. Does anybody know how I can actually, like, access my inventory? Yeah, we did, like, uh, the rest of the dungeon. Not all of it, but I went through the whole dungeon, like, once. Um, level one or whatever. 
the first half of stream and now we're doing some island stuff. No plot. I did a lot of plot recently, so I'm like... I don't think you can. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Well, let me put the bar next to the karaoke, because I think that will fit. Oh my god. Speaking of fitting, my goodness. Um, yeah, we could do that. There we go. Majong can stay there. Sure, we can have a table there. Why not? Why not? And then we should make another pathway. Actually, you know what? Let's put a pathway here. This is a random Majong. Uh, I also have a speaker I can put out. I just thought it'd be funny to have a speaker outside of the karaoke, you know? Like, everyone can listen to it. And then I want to put down a pathway. Right here. Connect it over there. Make it our little town. And then... We have the Yakiniku restaurant. God. Yeah, how should this go? Like this? Does it even fit? Oh my god, I don't think it fits. Oh, just barely doesn't fit in there. Okay. Well, I could... I could move it over. Uh... Here, we'll do this. That'll do it. Can't forget the Mahjong table. You can't sit and play at it, but you know. <laughs> okay, restaurant. There we go. Is that what I want to do? I think so. Maybe like that. And then we'll put this guy right outside. <laughs> He's advertising the Yaki Miku. <laughs> and then I have a little house I could put somewhere. I think I have another restaurant I want to put across from it. So maybe I'll put the house, like, over here. Oh, I forget I have the other area over there. I don't know. I kind of want to finish developing this, and then maybe I'll mess with the other place, too. Like, maybe I can have different districts. Like, this can be, like, for fun like the bars and stuff, and then I could put the restaurants and the houses over there? I don't know. Okay, this will be the fun one, and then maybe this one will be like a cute little town. I could even move their lodging over here. Something like that. I think so. Oh, good night, Arkham. Thanks for being here. Also, welcome in, Kume. Let me see. Let me catch up here. Recreate the Sujimon restroom you found in the dungeon. I could. <laughs> I could do that. Oh, lord. A sink to match the toilet, yes. Uh, if they drop Akiyama Gaiden like a Dragon 9 in the same month, they're getting completed in the same month at Judgment 3. Oh, dear lord. Well, hopefully they space them out a little bit for everybody's sake. Oh, that's funny. Moving it with my mouse on accident. Uh, hear me out. Yakiniku Biria. <laughs> I mean, hey, that sounds good. <laughs> Maybe I should do a different path over here. I mean, I, I gotta see these up close. Hold on. We're gonna we're gonna do some serious building now. Hold on. We're gonna test out everything. Okay, so that's one. That is the clay doing this like animal crossing that is the checkered marble this is the brown brick i've been using this one is concrete which has its uses barren road concrete sand yeah concrete sand beach oh i kind of like that maybe i can put that over here like going out towards the beach you know? Put this right next to it. 
I love that time is paused right now. I can spend as long as I need to here. Can I, like... Oh, yeah, I can probably do... Like that. There we go. Oh, no. <laughs> Oops! No? Oh god. I want to be precise about this and it's a little annoying. Okay. There we go. Something like that. I don't know. Kind of random. I don't want to put this next. Eh, it doesn't really work how I wanted it to. I kind of wish I could change this to the sand, you know? Lead out to the beach. Hmm. I can't put this on it, right? And then I hate that you can't put stuff on the pads. I don't know. I'll leave it for now. We'll revisit that later. Uh, guests will only stay in the area that their lodging is in. So these guests won't go to the Hills of White House. Oh, okay. Would they go over here? Like, if I put their tent here, will they still go visit this area? Since they're, like, right next to each other. That's all I need. I would totally get it if they don't, like, walk around that far. Yeah, okay. That's all I wanted. Um, uh, let's see. More paths. Okay, what else we got? Marble. I can see how that could be, like, fancy. I don't really love that it's, like, orange, though. And then we've got just, like, yeah, wood. Glass. Kind of looks like bathroom tile to me. Cracked concrete. Okay. <laughs> Paved stone. Oh, maybe I'll like the paved stone. Oh, yeah, I like that. And then yellow brick road. Excuse me? Follow the yellow brick road. And then asphalt. Basic. Yeah. Well, hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they just won't move to different map areas. That makes sense. Oh, you can buy tiles from Meta Yoshi that match the paths that can have items on them. Oh, I did that to make a playground with a sand bottom. Oh, okay. I'll have to go to Meta Yoshi. Okay. Follow the yellow brick road to find the wonderful wizard of Agesta. <laughs> okay, I think I really like this one. I could see how I could use some of them, like, in certain contexts as I get more creative, you know? Like, I might use the asphalt at some point. This could be if I want to make a place look, like, dilapidated. Um, I don't know, this one just screams bathroom to me. And this also looks weird outside, like, I feel like this should be in a house. I could see this being used in, like, a elegant area, maybe? Or even this one, perhaps? I just wish the marble was like a white marble. I think it would look nicer, but anyway. We're gonna use the paved stone. So I'm gonna make like a little cozy house slash maybe restaurant area over here. I think that's what I wanna do just thinking how I want to map it out. I mean, I kind of want to make it symmetrical to this one. So maybe I should do that. We're playing this shit out, okay? There. So let's do... I just cut straight through? Oh, okay, so there's just no endpoint. Okay. But they're only going to walk on a path, apparently. Let's do something like this. Not that one. And there's, now we have like a little square. And maybe I could do, well, I'll leave that alone for now. Okay. So now I could move that house. I'm assuming if I move the tent, it's fine as long as I put it back down. They won't like want to leave. Don't, don't, don't. 
put that there for fun. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. I want to move their tent over here. And then this can all just be like fun stuff. Put them like right there. Yeah, perfect. And they'll wake up right next to the food stall so they can go spend their money there. It's great. And then maybe I could put a path right here just so they can move around better. Okay. Pick up the tent and shake it around. <laughs> just hear screaming. <laughs> what else? What else? I think I have some stuff in storage I should grab. Put an elegant vase over here. Randomly. This is something I would put in like Ejibon's house or something. I don't know. Something. And then I think I have more in storage. Let's go grab it. Ooh, we got more satisfaction. Want presents yet? Not yet. Still got two more days. Let's see. I had a lot of bugs and fish. I did not need all of these. No wonder I ran out of room. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh. Yeah, another restaurant. And then I'll have to make more stuff. Okay. So, I do like the restaurant being here. So maybe I'll put the other restaurant over here only. He likes the vase. He likes it. Oh wow, they're already all the way over here. My gosh. Okay. Another restaurant. Let's put it inside here. That looks kind of awkward, doesn't it? Well, it's almost like a little alleyway. Not that bad. I don't know how to do things in an interesting way, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of tough too, though, because like you can't curve the paths and do like interesting things with them. So I have to think of things pretty rigidly anyway. Do you think we're blowing their minds by walking on the grass? <laughs> yeah, they're like, how is he doing that? And I'll put a little statue or fountain right here. And then this. It's like a grand opening. Grass walking is for staff only. Employees only. Yeah, there you go. I'll put another one. But like right here near the beach. Actually, we can put it right here. Perfect. Okay. That's all the furniture I've got for now. Island's theme is now pop. Interesting. I hope I didn't make anybody unhappy with that. Let me see. I think she's still happy. I don't have any souvenirs. Oh, I can give him... Um, I can give them stuff from the island, I think. He likes the Mahjong table. I think they're still happy. Actually, I think I can check. No? I know some of them want certain things, right? I think it's just that overall we're pop, but they're still happy because they still have stuff. Yeah, unless you get rid of stuff, it won't go down by adding more. Okay. We just changed the overall theme. Okay, anyway, I wanted to upgrade my house. I forgot. It's almost nighttime. 100,000. I have almost 100,000 on top of that. I have almost two, so... I think I'll do it. Yes. I want my house to be big. Seems easy enough. I'll get right to it. Yay! Yay! <sighs> More toilets! Oh, wow, yeah. That's interesting. It moves everything to the side. I'm surprised I didn't, like, center it. 
Now they fill up the rest of the space with the sinks! Yay! I had kind of a good thing going with that space, but... Alright. Um, I don't think I have anything in storage to place. Yeah, everything I have is out here. Alright. Time to move things around, I guess. Let's get that zen going again. Pool table over there. You know, what's funny about me putting the pool table against the wall is it completely defeats the purpose of the fucking pool table, and I didn't think about that till just now. <laughs> I was just treating it like a coffee table, you know? There we go. That makes a little more sense. Get our plants. Oh, Lord. You know, I have to say the movement, like, I don't know, something about it makes me a little woozy. Ugh. I might have to take a break from uh, crafting and building for a little bit. Um, maybe we'll just leave it like this for now. That's the part of the room that doesn't make sense? Yeah. Who puts a pool table against the wall? What do you mean? Aren't pool tables just there for cats to lay on and get fur everywhere? You know, you have a point. But that's a house that's lap of luxury. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna keep it like that. Frame rate can't keep up with the movement, yeah. It makes me a little nauseous, so I'm gonna stop. Let's go back outside. <laughs> the squat teller right next to the gaming PC. Yeah! I don't have a gamer chair, so I just gave him a toilet. Yeah, sense. That's exactly what this room full of squat toilets has. Yes. Exactly. Alright. Let's go fishing for a little bit. Has it already been four hours? Oh my god. It does not feel like that. I swear. I swear to all of you, it feels like it's been maybe two or three hours tops. We're not doing that. Now you don't have to leave the PC. You can game 24-7. Yeah. Ichiban is a real gamer. He's the most gamer out of all of us. Oh, the resource. Oh, I forgot about the resources. I swear I need to do, like, certain stuff at the beginning of the day every day. I was so distracted by our guests, you know. Okay, so gather resources, destroy rocks, and catch fish. Perfect. back to that island i want to for the beach not the island i would like to fish for a little bit i've played more yox games than ichiban has well ichiban can't very well play the game he's in can he there's no enemies on the island right i think it would have told me the beetle ran away. You know, I think we've all gamed more than Ichiban. He he is technically a gamer, but I feel like he's just played Dragon Quest. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. He just hasn't had a lot of time for gaming, you know? He was in jail for quite a while. Poor guy. He got out of jail and there was like five more Dragon Quests. Can't play all of those. Barracuda. Ooh, Barracuda. Ah! Yes. I found her. Getting dark! Nighttime fishing. Yes. One more. Even the fish are tired. All right, I did my dailies. I can walk myself home, thank you. I want to check on my guests. I want to make sure that they're happy. They're still up, actually. So, let me see what I need to do to get us those other areas so I can get gold ore. So I'm probably gonna... I Hopefully, I'll be able to get some gold ore tomorrow on stream. And maybe I can make the statues then. Let me see what we need to do. Keep 
scaring the bugs. I have to increase our rank first. Is this not where we need to go? Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I'm sorry. The lighthouse and stuff are over here. Really? It's over here? I didn't remember that. Oh, yeah, up the stairs. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's guys up here. Hello? Oh? This should be where the lighthouse is. Uh-oh. Wait, the washbucklers are here too? We've been waiting for you, Ichiban Kuska. Heard all about you from our captain. He assigned me to safeguard this area. Uh, this here area, see? And if you want it back, you better batter up and get to swinging. I see... The way it it sounds, it's more like a southern accent than pirate. Alright. You asked for it. Here's your eviction notice. Currently in yeah. battle! Get him, Ichiban! Oh god, they're getting me. They jump at me! They jump at me! <laughs> Run! Dodge! There we go. I didn't dodge when I should have. Everybody? Not too bad. If I didn't have a lot of hearts, I would have died. Ow, ow, ow! Nobody said you'd be this strong! Wanna go again? I still got energy to spare. Hell with that! I'm through here! I'm through here! Just wait till the Marauder and the Invader here are this. They're both ridiculously strong. No way they'll let you off easy. Fine by me. I'll take them both down. You won't be so smug when me and the boys come back to trash this place. That's his new voice. He just wants to be unique. He's a southern pirate. Okay. Now that the washbucklers are gone, I should do what I can to clean up to make it easier to clear the site. Alright. There we go. Wonderful. So, I can already get to the lighthouse, so I think if there was gold here, I would have seen it. But I don't know. Got ruby. Ooh. No, there's a bug. 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 There's a bug. There's a bug. No, bug. Bug. Scorpion. Was a scorpion. Check behind the lighthouse. Was it the ruby? Behind the lighthouse. Oh, there's a kitty cat. They're cute. I did not see him at all. Oh. It changed colors. <laughs> it's the flashlight, poor thing. I'm like blinding him. Oh. I did not see him. Oh, I should go to sleep. Let's go to sleep, Ichiban. Yeah, no gold yet. It's funny, though, if you stay up late, they do more stuff. Oh, I, I can teleport. I forgot. Can I teleport to my house? Yes. No? Hello? Huh. But I could teleport. No? But I could do that. Um... Huh. I guess I gotta go to those maps. Teleport me home, I'm gonna pass out! There we go. <laughs> yeah, the signboards. Bye, fam! Mm. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Okay. Okay. You save. I know, I can, I can go up to them slowly, but I keep scaring them, so then I have to run after them. That's what keeps happening, honestly. Da -da. 
I like playing this song. Entertaining. Yeah, hybrid of southern with a pirate. Uh, there are some ore, but way more spawns once the area is cleared. Okay, so we'll focus on that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all right. It's fine. Like we have the we have the back seating uh, stuff in chat. It's mostly for like spoiling or people telling me like, um, go do this right now. Like telling me. If you're giving me tips, it's like not as bad. And if it is a problem, I'll let you know. So don't worry about it. Okay. Catch up here. I'm hungry. And these guys pick a villain stereotype and stick with it. I know, right? <laughs> At the time he spends getting a whole uh, baby gang to create a diaper snow moment for the wife of an old man he just met in the street uh, is a time he could spend catching up on Dragon Quest. <laughs> but he's helping people in real life. He's living out his own hero game. Got out of jail and there was a Dragon Quest MMO. Now I want a scene of the gang explaining to Itchy what an MMO is. Oh no. Ichiban has been in more Yakuza games than yeah, any of us. Oh. I think Ichiban wins. Uh, should show up as red dots on the map when there's enemies. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> build- uh, Bishy, build five more toilets for an optimal game experience. Actually, the house is two times bitter, bigger. So, 20 more toilets. Don't tell me what to do! Uh, Bishy, did you know that you can finish the game faster by doing plot? I just wanted you to sit in the silence for a little bit. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna be it for me tonight, y'all. Uh, speaking of plot, I'm gonna go continue my plot in real life by go getting some dinner and going to sleep, so... Uh, I will be back tomorrow at the same time, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, with even more Don Doko Island. I think we'll probably do some other stuff tomorrow. Maybe we'll do sub-stories. I don't know. We'll, we'll do some more fun in the sun, in Hawaii, in Infinite Well. Uh, tomorrow evening. But yeah, uh, just another reminder, I won't be streaming next week, so, uh, make sure to tune in this week if you want to get your bishy fix. <laughs> I won't be here next week. Uh, but I'll be back after that. So anyway, have a great night, everybody. Uh, thank y'all so, so much for being here. I appreciate all of y'all, whether you were lurking or chatting with me. Anyway, uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 8.30 p.m. Set time with some more squat toilets. <laughs> and uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your nights. Uh, there's my social media, most active on Twitter and YouTube. Also got a Discord open to anybody if you'd like to join in. It's the best place to be for stream updates so you know when I'm streaming, when I'm not streaming, what we're playing. And if you just want to hang out with us off stream and post memes and look at fan art and stuff like that. Uh, not just of the streams, but fan art in general, like Yakuza stuff. But either way, I'll be back next time. Bye! bye, -bye.